Van Gogh painted this. This is an original. Yes, sir. Who painted this? Leonardo da Vinci painted this, sir. Yeah, yeah, I heard he was pretty good. I heard he was pretty good. So these three the real clothes? Yes. Like she wore these? Yes, sir, she did. They watched them? <laughs> you are now watching the Bargain Bin Bros. You're goddamn right. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Bargain Bin Bros. Another impromptu stream. We never do these at the, uh, the time we say we will, but um, appreciate everyone joining this morning. We've got a beautiful panel today, so I'm going to start off here with my co-host, two streams in a row. Two streams in a row. This is a record. Ben Thomas, who's maybe also preoccupied with other things, but Ben, how are you doing today? Good, man. Good. I, uh, sorry. I keep, you know, I keep saying like, I want to jump in every, every Friday that you do this. And then it's always 10 o'clock in the morning for me on a work day. Today just happened to be the worst ice storm I've seen in at least a month. And I said to the boss, I think I'm just gonna, you know, work from home. So, uh, okay. please don't anybody report me, but, uh, I am here. If I look a little <laughs> distracted, it's a work phone, I swear. <laughs> but thanks for having me, buddy. It's good to Nothing's see you. Nothing's getting painted in an ice storm anyway, so you're good. Nothing's getting you're painted the... in an ice except for all the interior stuff I'm doing right now. But th don't no, worry about God. those ones. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's too cold for anything, but right. yeah, Ben, really, really appreciate you, bro. Thank you. Uh, next up, we've got Eddie Money Mendez rocking his Raider gear. Love to see it. How you doing, Eddie? Yeah, I know. I was like, I think I was talking about this with someone yesterday. It's like, the Raiders suck, but when they win... You're like, hell yeah, I'm a Raiders fan. <laughs> Doesn't happen yeah. often. Doesn't happen I know, often. Dude. <laughs> Glad I could join you. Thanks for, for sending out the invite. And I'm excited to hang out and talk with you guys. Heck yeah, man. Appreciate you joining. And next up, we've got our overseas crew, the original Bargain Bin Bros. I'm going to start off with Shane, one six figure focus, who's coming in real casual right now. Shane, how you doing? Well, first of all, I'm not overseas. You are overseas. <laughs> Take okay, <that>. facts. <laughs> yeah, so Dude, I tried to make the overseas joke us. this morning, and Joao was a dick about it, bro. Yeah, wow. Well, that's, that's, that's just I'm that's telling you, that's his, just him. Default setting. That's just like Monday for Joao. That's, that's right. That's what he is. Like, you know, it's, just, it's not. It's, it's not every day he's sending people peacemakers. Come on. That's right. It's it's funny it's though. It's like a. You. It's like yeah. a bell curve with, with Joao where you're like, at first, like, this guy's kind of a dick and he's really dry. And then you get to know him. You're like, oh, no, he's actually a really nice guy and he's <laughs> pretty funny. And then it comes back down like, no, he's actually just a dick. So, no, I'm kidding. You, you, you literally <laughs> described that and drew a dick at the same time. Go you, right. wow. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, actually, thank you. Shout out to Big Brothers One and None. Yeah, man, with the peacemaker coming Best through. Always. Bees. <laughs> Well, appreciate you coming in live from the sofa today, Shane. I don't have Next any details, so you tapped out. So. That's true. Yeah, you sold all your collection. Wow. Well, you know, it's, we'll, we'll still allow you on here in true bargain bin bro fashion. Um, so so next up, <laughs> coming in overseas, we got Big Breda. Joao, how are you doing this morning? Uh, excuse me, this evening, very late evening for you. No, it's 1 a.m. It's cool. It's late, later for, for Christian, 2 a.m. Uh, all good. We just, we just uh, finished with Collectors Unite. And it's been it's been really a lo uh, while since we since we have been in a bargain bin bros. Uh, I don't remember the last one. I think I missed the last one or something like that. But yeah, excited. There's a lot of stuff to talk and a lot of <laughs> spicy topics because so many controversy around in this week. Absolutely, yeah. Lot, lots of good stuff that the bargain bin bros would be interested in. Um, yeah, it's been a while for sure. Um, we did the two K giveaway, which was kind of branded bargain exactly. bin bros, but it was a. Uh, yeah, it was an interesting stream for sure. Equan is asking, are we doing another duck race? So the nah, Collectors dude. Unite duck no, race was... No. I hope not. <laughs> Jesus I Christ. just kind of the tail end. I actually went back and made Gigi watch some of it because it was just so... Actually, she wanted to watch. She was like, well, hold on, rewind. Let me see some of that. So it was a Doing the two seconds, sure. one is the best. <laughs> <Absolutely. laughs> <laughs> Got to find a way to incorporate that in the future. So. Dude, Joao, thanks sucked. for joining this late. <laughs> what was that, Eddie? My duck didn't do shit. Man, my I had an absolute. You had so many chances. 
Jesus. Absolute killer joke lined up for the two seconds, but it was wow. it was just too oh, close wow. to the bone. <laughs> Three <laughs> inches in two seconds is really all you need. But moving on next to our last overseas person, Christian, how you doing? Christian, what is it Pikachu on your hat? Oh, no. Uh, this is the uh, League of Legends that Joel hates. But I this is the one of the skins the from the from the game. But uh, yeah, it's I'm supposed to be a cat. sandwich. You will stay talking. I genuinely for thought it was a yellow Christmas hat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually thought. Yeah, yeah. Funny. This is our yellow Christmas. I, I, this is how we kind of celebrate. Yeah, exactly. It's like exactly what it is. Funny. You got it. You got it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, it's first time here. Thanks for having me. Uh, I think everyone is familiar. I think uh, we've streamed at least once. And uh, yeah, are we getting spicy yeah. tonight? I hope you are. Uh, well, spicy. I hope that's not cold. Spicy, yeah, cold dude. Spicy, I, I, spicy, I, I just say spicy. I, I'm, <laughs> you, I'm you still trying spicy. to learn English. I'm still trying to get there. Jesus Christ. You better learn English, otherwise Ben won't talk to you. <laughs> and I just figured out, I'm the only <laughs> yellow here. It's like, Jesus. Sorry, someone, I'm my own joke there. <laughs> someone just told me that in our stream, you mm -hmm. said Harry Peter instead of Harry Potter. That's what... <laughs> Who said Harry Peter? No one caught you. it. You. I said you. Harry. Yes. God damn, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Nobody wants a Harry Peter. Uh, wow. So, so pretty funny, and this is going to be a real racial question here, but Gigi was like, yeah, Christian's English is so good. Where is he from? I was like, he's from Korea. She said, no, 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 but where, like, where is he from? I was like, he's from Korea. They just do a way better job of learning other languages than dumb Americans. Yeah, Gigi, uh, you taught me. I'm actually from, like, from Washington. Oh, it's just like, I'm actually, but no, 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 no. I was born here. I was raised here. And I, I have never been to the States. It's one of my dreams to be, be there. But uh yeah, wow. I, I'll yeah, take it man. as a compliment. You need Anytime. to dream tell bigger, me, man. Tell me, tell me, why, why, why is your dream going to the states? Why? Well, then I can see all you guys, and then you know everyone from you know LWO, you know Mark, you know everyone Hopefully Mario, it's a and, better you know, everybody. Airport experience when you come to the states, you know. Mm -hmm. If it's LAX, mm -hmm. there's no way. There's no way it'll. There's be no better. way. I heard LAX is like the worst ever, and. Every time I see one of those, you know, white people movies or uh, shows, wow, the LAX as one of like the most, what do you call them? The, I don't know, I don't know, like the like the biggest airports you guys got, but uh, it, just, it just requires a lot of planning ahead. There's a lot of Asians the wrong there. Time, just wow. follow the crowd. Uh, oh, follow the crowd. Take their shoes off quickly. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just there's so many people, so like you'll get stuck in traffic because they're in the process of like redoing things for the Olympics. Um, and I think it's always been bad, but yeah, you've just really got to go with enough time to, to be able to sk skirt through or else you're screwed. So, uh, right, with that, let's check in with the, sorry, was someone saying something? No, no, no. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right. All right. Let's, uh, let's check in with the chat really quick and then we can get into some spicy topics for sure. So we've got some guy, what's up? My favorite people's Hey, some guy, thanks for joining. We got paid in 23. What's up everyone. Let's see. We've got. Ben Thomas, the imposter, posing as one six fix. I, I really got to revoke Ben's. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I, know, I know he did. <laughs> I really got to revoke Ben's admin privileges, but he always uh, he's always helping out anytime he can make it. It's funny, Ben. When I stream, normally Ben can't make it, and then when he streams, let's get nuts. It's like at the worst time for me. So, um, we'll I I'm gonna make it on there again one day soon. Football season's almost over. So. I wish I had friends. <laughs> it's uh, it's my family for sure we got mark mitchell hello everyone hey mark mitchell we got keith lee good morning peeps keith lee thanks for joining we got the talented renz tolentino good morning everyone renz thanks for joining we got the movie canon in the house since Shawal's not uh with this camera on we're gonna say in the house good morning my panel my fellow collectors hey thanks for joining we got Goodbye avengers you. assemble <laughs> oh he's here there all right making a sandwich though uh, let's see. Thanks for joining. We got the legend Bob Dylan in the house. TGIF. I'm ready for Bob and Joao to correct us on anything J and D related that we get wrong, but that's why we defer to these uh, these experts here. So appreciate you joining, Bob Dylan. Let's see. Some guy saying, "Damn, what a panel!" Let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Eddie Money Mendez. <laughs> I see like logic, baby. Love it. Love it. Uh, we got Gigi in the house. Wow, I normally don't like when she listens into these things because she gets too many ideas. She starts hearing about things that I wasn't ready to talk to her about outside of the podcast. So let's uh, let's keep it tight today. Don't let any figure uh, figure pre-order slip today. 
Uh, we got Brandon Salad in the house. Triple B Gang Gang, let's go. Brandon Salad, thanks for joining. We got Calvin, the low key collector. The worst in a month, the snowstorm, huh? So, so what is so ice storm? What is the difference between an ice storm and a snowstorm? Oh man, uh, so basically, it kind of like almost rains at first, and then there's like this mist in the air, and then it freezes on everything. So you go with the next day, and it's like a thick layer of ice on absolutely a skating rink. It's crazy. Sounds Terrifying. horrifying to drive on. Yes, sir. Well, yes, sir. And nobody knows. Nobody knows how to drive. So then they immediately veer into the ditch you know that's it's the yes. worst so. well glad you're sitting here talking uh, about dolls with your friends instead of being on the road 100%. appreciate that i drive a bright yellow car so at least you can see me in the ditch if i go into it so. oh there you go <laughs> <laughs> it's not shocking that you would have a yellow car that seems very on brand uh so calvin thanks for joining also sent the link um if you want to join if you're if you're available at all calvin just jump on in uh, alvin j what's up everyone have a great show I'll catch the replay alvin j thanks for that we got jazzy morning boys Jazzy. Jazzy definitely has the source code for the duck race, right? I, I just kept seeing yeah, Jazzy won, win like every other at one. At least two or three times, yeah. <laughs> that was uh, pretty incredible. So we got we to review that code at some point. Uh, let's see, Jose Hernandez. Hey, everyone, great panel. Wish I could be on, but stuck at work. Jose, I'm sorry to hear you're stuck at work. Sucks to suck. I don't think you would invite it. He was. <laughs> no. I shot him what? a last second invite. I heard Jose's <laughs> retired from streaming. Was the backup right. backup? Is, is. <laughs> the backup backup. <laughs> Equan, more than all, are we doing another duck race? I wish. I wish we were doing another duck race. I, we should just keep running them until Shoal finally breaks. Would be my my dream. But <laughs> Equan, thanks for joining. Hey all, one six figure focus, looking relaxed outside of collecting room. Hey, um, by the way, Agent Silver Fox, if you want to join at all, just uh, just let us know. I told Shane to invite you, but uh, you know he probably dropped the ball per usual. I, I so. did, but he says he doesn't like you. I get that. Yeah. I get that because well, he's a real collector. That's what I hear normally. <laughs> he's got the he's got the D, or excuse me the uh, Maji cases. These Billy bookshelves are definitely not for real collectors. So I get that no. he'd want to differentiate no, tap, himself. You're a tap dancing motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, some guy saying great a... suit. You got to get a clip of like the old school Looney Tunes or the WB Frog when he's tap dancing. Oh, and play I love that it. whenever someone does a tap dancing thing. That's great. Yeah. There you go. Or just oh. screen cap that that Ben there. And yeah, there you go. I know. Meme. <laughs> ben is just an instant meme. I have been using the Ben, <laughs> the ben Thomas. <laughs> so good. <laughs> Oh man, so Bob Dylan is saying it was actually called uh, Duck Mageddon. Apologies for getting that wrong. Let's see, we got one six figure focus in the house. Uh, let's see, we got Keith Lee, da -da -da, profe, profe, el profesor. Hey, you, you, Christian, why, why are your you, expectations? Why you would just jump the Keith Lee comment? That was so good. Oh, I missed it. Sorry, sorry, because I no, already you, got you, him earlier. You click on it and then it just. Wow, we've like already it. established that my reading comprehension is very very low so keith lee is asking are we going to talk about the 89 batmobile hot toys versus jazz inc size comparison almost looks like two different scales i'm going to ask a favor if anyone on the panel has access to that picture i've seen it in the groups I but i didn't save it if you wouldn't mind pulling it up and we can maybe start with that as a warm-up I, I think a few of us are getting the hot toys so it'll be a good uh, it'll be an interesting conversation Jazz Inc. is like the magnum of, of vehicles I've heard. So Yeah, so yeah. you only do magnums in real life, but not with, when it comes only to... Only in real life. All right, all right. <laughs> ben, I'm um, still laughing at your comment on Collecting Weekly. I nearly crashed the car, man. <laughs> wow. What is this comment, Shane? This is the second day in a row I've had to remind him of it. The exact <laughs> words were, I don't think I can commit to 14 inches of Predator. <laughs> <laughs> And it's at least it's 10 inches larger than anybody ever needs. Yeah. <laughs> I just say things, you know, and then I think about them later. I hate that I shouldn't stream. So what, a nut. <laughs> what a nut. <laughs> oh, man. We got a, a Profi is saying, Christian, lower your expectations with the states. Profi, I think I sent the link in the LWO chat if you're, if you're off at all today. But uh, yeah, if not, uh, just message me. And if you're free, then jump on in. Uh, let's see. AJ Agrusa saying, greeting friends. Hope everyone is doing well. Thanks for joining, AJ. Uh, Jazzy saying, nah, bro, don't want to come here. Expensive as shit in Cali. Christian, we'll get you out here someday. We'll, 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 uh, subsidize the meals. We'll make it worth your while to be out here. So, uh, Brophy's trying to meet you in China. I know Brophy's got, he's, 
grown quite the network out there. So <laughs> I wouldn't be shocked if he ends up there <laughs> in 2025 for sure, if not 24. Joe, um, I was shaking. Uh, Brandon Salad saying, every time I've flown into LAX, it's been nice. Yeah, I think if you plan ahead, it could be a smooth experience. I've had two solid experiences recently, but um, yeah, it definitely involves some planning. Uh, we got Nick's Collectibles in the house. Sup, y'all. I believe 1-6 scale wrestling is coming back this Sunday. If anyone knows, uh, correct me, but I think it, it's the redo or the reissue of, uh, of Nick's show. So looking forward to that one with maybe some special guests. Let's see. We got Yomo. What's up, everyone? Yomo, thanks for joining. Uh, let's see. We might be caught up here. All right. All right. All right. We got a packed house today. You do love to see it. So, Joao, let me know when you uh, when you've got that picture up. But I'm going to start really quickly with because this is bargain bin bros. I just want to talk about some deals, right? It's the we're post Black Friday, kind of into the holiday season. There's plenty of deals floating around. Want to know if anyone's waiting on a deal for anything in particular? I will say the Iron Man Mark III. That one was, I think, waitlisted on Sideshow, both versions. Was waiting on a deal. Was able to secure a pretty solid, it's probably going to go lower, but pretty solid deal on one. Got it on the way. So really looking forward to uh, to getting that in hand. But Ben, how about you? Any deals you're waiting on? So it's funny because you messaged me yesterday about this. So I was waiting on a deal for the DeLorean. Was. Um, I mean, with high hopes. I don't think it was actually going to actually become a deal, but you, you never know. Maybe around Christmas, maybe around Black Friday, right? Uh, and then Marco was kind enough to send me a screenshot yesterday of Sideshow's website that basically said, mm, it's almost sold out. Uh, blue screen. So I FOMO'd, I bought it, and I put it on a payment plan because I'm like, it's fine. I'll just pay it off over four months because I have a zero idea of where I'm going to display it at this point. And then I woke up this morning and I was like, no, nah, I want it next week before Christmas. So I paid it off. Wow. <laughs> so, what a guy. I love it. Yeah. So it should be here by Tuesday. So I'm, you, I'm pretty you, excited. But You paid it off? I just paid it off. <laughs> what yeah. the? He's all like, oh, I threw it on a payment plan a couple of days ago. And all of a sudden, no. I paid it off. You got it off. But you <laughs> solved where you're going to display it because under the Christmas tree is where you're going to put it. So That's where it'll start, at least. At the very least. I'm going to have to put it to beside go. the bed, maybe, you know, or, or something. I don't know. We'll see. Put but. it on the kitchen cabinets dude like right above or oh gosh <laughs> in the counter in the kitchen the kitchen has to be the classy area that's where i entertain wow. the ladies with wine and stuff it's then in, you come into the collection room after you know what i'm saying but uh, yeah i don't I like know it. you gotta keep them i've got a, i've got a table section like right here that like maybe but we'll see but it that was the deal i was waiting on it's just unfortunately it never became a deal uh and so i just had to buy it at full price unfortunately Dang, but I'm excited well. for it either way. And thanks for the heads up on the on the blue screen, because I would have been disappointed to miss that one for sure. Yeah, you know, I, I normally wouldn't want to uh, try to FOMO in anyone into doing anything. But because that's one that I had a feeling like you might regret passing on, I'm glad that you uh, bit the bullet. So uh, fingers crossed, yours comes in. Everything's good. We'll yank on those tires and we'll we'll test it out. We'll stress mm -hmm. test it live. Uh, yeah, so Eddie, good. how about you, man? <laughs> You've been going pretty pretty uh, hard as of late. Oh, that didn't sound right. Um, but, wow. uh, what deals are you waiting on? Um, so I was going to mention quickly on the Mark three, how you said, uh, John had one of those available lately. I don't know if you guys saw the post. It wasn't in the exclusive or special edition. I don't know Yeah, what was that, exclusive so, about that, but I saw that he had one. So there was, that's that. who I got it from. Cause he was able to let me oh, use you some got of rewards points. Well, I got, he had two available. I got one before this other one became available. Oh. So I had, I had been messaging with him and, um, I thought you yeah, were had, a special edition or bus guy. Normally I'm not honestly, like I'm normally really? best price available. Now that's a good special edition accessory. So that's one that kind of hurts not to get the special edition, but for an additional hundred bucks, I don't think it's worth it for me. I'll maybe have Zach's Wonderland print a, a wow. helmet and maybe we'll just um, do it like that so so there's two things that i'm considering they're not really deals but it's kind of a deal but it so the delorean i was already trying to get that but i'm trying to work out a deal that i have with the local like seller um because i helped them it's the people that i help out with la comic-con they kind of owe me for la comic-con so i was hoping that I could work out a deal for the DeLorean because they have them. But they're also like hype <laughs> sellers. So like if they oh, see that, that it's, it's almost low sold stock. out, yeah. yeah, they might be like, nah, bro, we can't get you that one. The price just went up. Yeah, I know. So I, 
I'm waiting to hear back from them on that one. And then uh, this isn't a deal, but it's it's a way to get a Charles Xavier uh, like hot toy. Ben Ben pointed out to me that the Picard uh, X06 figure was coming out soon, and that head sculpt looks really good. Mm-hmm. And I could just take his jacket off, and he's just in a black suit, pretty much. And then, um, uh, if I have Zach's Wonderland print me out a, a wheelchair, like his his wheelchair, then I got a Charles Xavier in my collection. So I'm kind of seeing if I can make that work. And that figure Damn. is not too pricey. So after getting the wheelchair and then the figure, it's still cheaper than a hot toy. So those are the two things that I'm like super considering right now. Very it's nice. Cool little so custom build, buddy. Collector stuff. Yeah. I'm excited to hear what your thoughts to. are on that X06 figure once you see, see it in hand, too, if, if you end up getting it. Yeah, I never thought I'd be buying a Star Trek figure in my life. but One know, of us. One of us. Totally <laughs> 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 but I will say, he did say he would rather have it displayed with him sitting on the floor than displayed as an actual <laughs> Star Wars figure, or excuse me, Star Trek figure. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. He's going to be laying on the ground. <laughs> That's Screen right. accuracy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, so next up, Joao, I think you've jumped the queue here, but uh, what deals are you waiting on? I know there's a lot of stuff coming in, so you might not have that capacity to be preying on things that were not previously planned for. Uh, just um, Grand Inquisitor and uh, Riva. I want to get uh, uh, buy one, get one free at some point in time buy one get one free yeah that's well, of course so, so is the market they, they are like... going they are going down the grand inquisitor is going down here very fast even the wolverine here is go, going down so it will be Wolver? it will be a matter of time yeah wolverine um so just play the patience patience game and get uh riven grand inquisitors especially since they st- st- they still didn't um Announced uh, that uh, the Rice Hat Inquisitor, the fifth brother. Oh yeah, and, the Rice uh, Hat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and uh, the, the 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 other sister, right? So still mm-hmm. have time. No that, worry. That no last worries. sister, whatever sister number she is, that one was fourth, the most intriguing one to me. Fourth sister. Mm. Yeah, that one. That one looks pretty cool. So hopefully they uh, they get that in the queue. But all right, those those sound like some good additions. We we may talk about those. We've got that in the hot take game. Um, so Shane, how about you? I know you, uh, sold the whole collection, so you're probably looking to rebuild at this point. Yeah, man, I need to, I kind of need to get all the funds together for, I'm buying all three SKUs of the J and D. So, you know, wow. gotta, <laughs> real collector stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what did I pick up? I got a decent deal on the clone pilot. I was waiting there for a while. Usually when Joao says like something is dropping down in China, it's a, it's a you know it's a good sign to kind of go okay maybe the deals are coming. I usually listen to Joao when he says stuff is crashing in China. It's usually a good indicator, better than sideshow. So uh, that's what I did with the clone pilot and got a good deal on it. Um, apart from that, still kind of keeping the ear to the ground on a, a integrated suit, Spidey, just the non deluxe version and non deluxe Andrew as well. So, yeah. so are you getting the end of the suit? or excuse me, end of the film suit as well, or you would just get the integrated and skip on that? No, no, I ended it. The final swing is, I'll go deluxe on that and pose it with the base, and that'll be a nice one, yeah. But the other three boys will be kind of together. Got it, yeah, yeah, that's going to be an elite display. I'm uh, I'm tempted to do the same, so you let us know if you, if you come across any good deals. We've got, uh, let's see, we've got the Jedi Knights watch in the house saying, hello, everyone, TGIF. Shane looks comfy. I strive to be like him. With hey. the pup as well, with Buddy. Oh, that, oh that my pup gosh. looks cool. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's the optimal setup right there. Love to see it. Uh, Graham, thanks for joining. And I really quickly want to shout out Six Scale Mafia as well, saying one of us. So Eddie has Anthony. officially joined the uh, Star Trek crew with his consideration there. So. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, um, Christian, any deals that you're waiting on? Obviously, Marvel stuff, right? You're going deep down the Marvel line with. with oh being yeah, I need to pick up Yelena and uh, what was that? The 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 cross? No, not not cross eyed. Uh, crossbow? No, no, not crossbow. But whatever. Kate no, no, no. Bishop. Um, uh... Kate Bishop and Yelena. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I need to backtrack a lot of stuff like the quill with the blurg and the cop vans and uh, I should have waited 
and not pre-order the uh the, the grand inquisitor and reva and the uh paz Vizsla was the which was the heavy mando 2.0 which i did pre-order so i have to pick it up anyways but uh i am trying to get a good deal on a ps5 and i'm not joking joa i am i am i'm trying to get one because um when i was there with joa i i got to uh play a game with his son and that was amazing so just for that experience i think i might i need to have one and because your desktop exclusive with league of legends yeah is that where your focus is it's not because my loyalty is at league of legends is because i was most i was kind of like feeling comfortable playing it and i never left from that realm so i never pl started playing like your know, pc games and whatnot i do have like P xboxes but I, I never play them but right now i feel like the itch and the urge to get you know ps5 so i'm i'm looking for a good deal but yeah not a figure but uh sorry but yeah ps5 <laughs> Hey, that's all. That's always applicable, honestly. No, that's. Yeah, I that's need a the good washing time, machine. Honestly. What was that, Joa? What was that? I need the washing machine. Oh no, yours went out. <laughs> yeah. No. That's yeah. We just bought a dishwasher recently, and it was not a fun expense. It's like okay, this is just the least sexy thing you can add to, <laughs> but uh, it's it's needed at times. So uh, Gigi was like, "We've got a dishwasher. It's you." But apparently that uh, that didn't fly. So uh, let's see. We got. Marcos collector zone in the house bargains, huh? Hey everyone, Eddie, BB, Ben, Graham, Anthony, Marco. Hey, thanks for joining. Um, Marco says he's in and out of the office while it streams in the shop. Really appreciate you popping in. So I think that's a, a good time before we get to the Batmobile conversation. And I still haven't oh, been able want... to find the pick. So if anyone has it, no, no, I have, I have them here. Okay, awesome. Just really quickly want to shout this out Marcos. Only two, so. Yeah, <laughs> since uh, since Marcos sponsored the. Uh, the blur giveaway which is which has ended but congratulations to universal key for winning the the blurg and um really quickly want to say we've got a promo code for collector zone one six fix not 16 fix but it will get you 15 percent off orders on the site i believe that's full pay but um also if you message marcos you could uh, sort some stuff out with payment plans so uh yeah really appreciate collector zone for being an affiliate and uh, all the support and that link would uh, contribute towards the channel as well so Let's see. Let's share what Brett has got here. Um, okay, so this is a picture of the Jazz Inc. on the left versus the 89 Batmobile. Not the re-release, but we're assuming it's going to be the same exact thing moving forward. So is anyone here contemplating either of these versions? And, and does the size really... <laughs> Age-old question, does Say the size it. really matter? Does it really matter? I've got the uh, Hot Toys on order. You do, eh? Shane, where the heck are you going to display that thing? I don't know, man. I haven't really thought that far ahead. Yeah. I have an idea. ones that you just got to get, right? I have, an, I have an idea. I have two ideas. Have... One's better than the other. But the one that's better than the other takes a lot more effort. But yeah, I think it's going to happen. I have the Hot Toys one already, of course. And uh, I have the Jazz Ink on pre-order. Are you going to the keep... Jazzing come pre-order? Okay. Are you going to keep the Hot Toys one if you end up liking the yeah. Jazzing more? Yeah. Or, or, yeah. Oh, no, no, I, I will keep. I will keep both. I will keep both. But uh, been... the size, the size is scary, really. Yeah. Yeah. Because the um, the Hot Toys one is already huge, and seeing that Jazzing one, not much for the length, but for the wide. Uh, I don't know if it will feel. The girt? I don't know. I need. I need to. I need to study that sizes. How because... much clearance do you have with the garage shelf with the '89 Hot Toys version? I have a lot of a lot of clearance. Okay, so it should. It should I don't have any clearance much. with the the Ecto one. So I think this <laughs> this Batmobile will be maybe something similar to the Ecto one. Jedi Knight Watch. Uh, screw you. You can you can do you can do payment plans on Jazz Inc. Is what I'm doing. I'm on the third batch. I'm not in a hurry. I don't want to get the first batch. I don't want to get the paint all fucked up. You need to always go to third batch. It, that it is a good point, honestly. Like, uh, and I, I think uh, Graham's being facetious here, but you could have, you could theoretically afford anything as long as you make a plan for it, right? If you, you know, don't it's, want to get yourself like, in debt, but you could, if you really want, it's like it, one hundred, one hundred sixteen dollars per month, something like that. 
and I will receive it in the third batch that is in August next year. It's okay. August next year, I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, there you go. Gives you plenty of time to plan ahead for space and, and uh, paint it off. Keith Lee is saying 43 inches is the Jazz Inc. Batmobile. So yeah, that's a, that's a beast. I really like the Hot Toys version in that it could fit in a Maja Case 6110, which I've, I've got a few of them, and I could display the Batman figure. So I think it's... I think I saw in Graham's uh, display, he had it like that. It's tight, but it, it'll fit in there. Marco. Marco, can yes, I sir? make a point? Mm -hmm. Please do. This photo is very, very small, but it looks like the Jazz Inc. is on something elevated. So, Shua, are you able to zoom in at all on this one? Please. Like, it looks like... This, this uh, is from Anthony, Anthony live stream, so I don't know I don't know if, if Jazz Inc. said anything about the if he's elevated or something, because here, have a, uh, this one, other one is a more close-up. Right, um, because I'm not sure, like, is the one on the left just I, on a, a piece of paper, or is it on something no, that no, is no. slightly it, elevated not, to make it, it does look a little bigger? bigger. Is is not a piece of paper because you can see the the I think that's a a, um, a polyfoam, right? A polyfoam, so if, uh, even if it's yeah. slightly cl closer to the camera, it is going to exaggerate the the size difference. Even though so we know the Jazz Ink is is bigger, but that could actually like exaggerate it just a little bit if it's on a step. Yeah, that's a good well, point. if you look at the Hot Toys version, you can see like the the, the side is is kind of on top of the foam. So I'm guessing that foam isn't too high, but uh, I, I do see your point. Because it looks like the right back wheel of the... All right, okay, yeah. So does that mean, Anthony, that the Jazz Inc. one is slightly elevated? Because that would exaggerate it yes. just a little bit. Yeah, slightly, yes, yes. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But it's still, it's bigger. We knew it was bigger anyway. Mm. Yeah, it seems like a, a pretty significant little size difference there. So it's going to be... a. Yeah, pretty pretty fascinating to see it once it's in more folks' collections for sure. Uh, mm -hmm. Excuse my ignorance, but when is the Jazz Inc. version supposed to drop? The first batch, I think, is January or something like that. Is January okay? So it's imminent. All right. So this is the the final uh, production run right here. No, like this is the prototype. January next month. This is the prototype. Oh, okay, so this is a prototype. Got yeah, it, you never it. showed the prototype yet. This is a prototype in construction. As okay. in, it's okay. due January. As in January. 2024 i don't know because i'm in the third batch and third batch for me is august all right so I'm, I'm i'm considering that the first batch should be maybe around january february march i don't know yeah interesting that they're showing a proto but i, I guess yeah um all right well more to come on this but really going to be an interesting debate Gross. i personally don't think you can go wrong with whichever version you choose i think they're both going to be sweet but i'm sure the jazz ink um will be a little more accurate, have a few more bells and whistles, but you are paying for that accuracy. So, um, you know, it's just whatever fits everyone's collection the most. Uh, Anthony's saying it's not full production model. That'll be shown before the pre-order ends. Okay, well, that's that's good, though, that they, you know, give some time to say, hey, this is what it's going to look like, and then let you uh, sneak in your pre-order. I think I'm good with the, with the Hot Toys version, honestly. I think that's going to be a, a good size for me. It's going to make a really nice display. And uh, yeah, I don't know that I need to go any further than that. Any additional thoughts on the the Batmobiles? No. What what is in, intrigues me a bit is that uh, the memory that I have, the memory that I have of the um, of this Batmobile in the movie, is that um, when Batman is standing near the car, the car doesn't seem that huge. And uh, I, I, when you see the Hot Toys one the Hot Toys Batman with the Hot Toys Batmobile, they kind of fit because it seems like it's to scale, but if the if the, uh, if the Jazz Inc. is like a monster, it will maybe underscale the, the figure. That's a really good point, right? I, I would love to see it next to... Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying, yeah, because then it might be... It might look out of, out of whack, and I get that they're striving for accuracy, but if Jazz Inc. isn't going to have their own 1.6 version of the Batman, you're kind of stuck with the scale of hot toys so uh, which uh, hopefully will not happen it will not happen like the, like the you the the bat the the new bat the new batmobile because the patties and the hot toys cannot fit inside the car you need to take out the boots for him to fit inside the the jazzing car really okay i hadn't seen that yeah. okay well, okay 
I, but I, I, that's I not just that. fault. He didn't. He didn't know what was the the, the Batman size Stewart, from Hot yeah. Toys. Damn. Uh, I do really hope that. Wa- oh, sorry. Go ahead. Christian. Me? No, no, no. Nothing. No. Oh, sorry. Nothing. Nothing. All good. I was gonna say. Uh, I do hope that at some point, like, there's uh, either a company or the vehicle companies that are making these do start making almost like busts that go into these, so you don't need to try and like take the boots off your figure or risk damaging the figure to try and stick it in there because i mean you know like there's some really cool vehicles that if you could at least have the bust up it would look it would look pretty nice other than having it standing beside i don't know the logistics of that because again obviously if you're a vehicle designer you may not be a figure designer right i think that they're slightly different skill sets but it would be cool to have for sure so we'll see yeah, that's a good point. And I think that that's feedback that uh, Yost has been given uh, on a few uh-huh. streams and in the community. Like, we just would love a bust, would love to bust. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I think that that's something that they want to do, but there might be, you know, copyright issues with it. But now that they're fully licensed for DC, it seems like it should be an option. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's move on from that. Should we talk about the real collector's checklist, or should we save that for another stream? Joao, I don't know if you covered that in your... Uh, in your stream this morning, I joined a bit late. <laughs> He's frozen, I guess. It, that just took <laughs> oh, him out stroking out. <laughs> now you're muted. <laughs> I, I'm <laughs> asking, what's that? What means the real collector the real collector's checklist? checklist? I just wanted to share with everyone what what constitutes a real collector. So then you have the right. Oh, to oh of course, you, order, you can go uh, on J and D. Okay, so we're we're putting together kind of an informal list of what it may be what what the threshold is to be a real collector so a few that i remember so everyone just chime on in if, if you uh, think of any more but so number one real collectors would not uh, display in billy bookshelves or detoffs those are out so immediately disqualified from uh, talking about j and d if you if you have any of of those uh, as your display option that's number one number two i think you ha- have to have over 100 figures right to just even talk about uh, any figures at all um and then the last one that i remember is you need to have four vehicles and at least one of them needs to be jazz inc so anyone else have uh, <laughs> the criteria that you recall you must live in your mom's basement wow all yeah right. i think that i i think that wow. one is also is also a good one okay i like it i like it <laughs> mom the meatloaf <laughs> i was like there you go shane sold his collection and moved in with moms all right <laughs> Well, there you go. Now you can talk. He could be the lone person talking about J and D. Well, uh, so <laughs> anyone else? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, Mafia is asking who uh, wrote these rules. Uh, this is the official bargain bin bro list of Jesus. real collector criteria. So and um, the, the, those rules well, cannot be changed. This is what can. it is. Yeah. It's not a show back <laughs> now. Live with it. Uh, <laughs> live with it, and it applies to everyone in the community. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> it's the ten collecting commandments. So. That's right. <laughs> four vehicles, that, so. you say? Okay. So, Jesus. four vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We, yeah. <laughs> I was Thanks, guys. Sorry, we didn't it's make it's the a rules, nice. We, yeah, <laughs> we very much did make the rules. So. Uh, let's see. AJ is saying, I apparently think too much like a collector to be a collector too. That was the newest one I had uh, spewed out at me the other day. Wow. Okay, that's an interesting one. All right, that's a new level of gatekeeping that you think too much like a collector. Um, Jazzy saying real collectors collect multiple big titty Fison bodies six scale. Wow. All right. We didn't have to call it anyone specifically, but um, this applies to everybody here. So uh, let's see. Six scale mafia. Oh, I see. I guess I pass, but you guys are screwed. Yeah. Mafia might be Flex. the only real collector in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh, Joava saying no tap dancing. Well, obviously no tap dancing for sure. Uh, figure posing uh, to be a real collector you cannot tap dance there you go this is a cri- criteria for sure so i definitely we'll, we'll apply that criteria caught, tap dance. that's right <laughs> we are just having some fun because we've talked about this before i i really despise gatekeeping right and so i think anyone even if you don't ha- own a single one six scale figure if you're at least interested in jumping into the hobby i think you're welcome at the table Right, and then it's it's up to everyone that's listening and participating 
to then weigh everyone's opinions. Like, oh, I, I really appreciate Ben Thomas's opinions, for instance. Uh, first time anyone said that, but um, no, well, I love my boy Ben <laughs> Thomas because he's very analytical, right? He thinks through things, and that's what that's what resonates with me. So it's all of our responsibility just to, uh, yeah, just to have fun here. So because I smoke uh, too much, I get really caught up in my thoughts, and then I have to give you guys all of the thoughts start to finish. You know, there sometimes you go. I gotta cut it short. But it's one of those things. Uh, Mafia saying, "Who cares? Have fun. Buy what you want. Sell what you want." Beautifully said. Exactly right. So, but we will be uh, we will be adopting an official list of real collector criteria and maybe on the next stream or collectors unite we will we'll just share that with everyone on uh, bring Bob. collectors unite to 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 these murky waters there you go <laughs> bob dylan is saying body swap what you want there you go <laughs> and i did one last thing before we move on to uh, the hot take game i saw bob dylan's post and i forget which group it was in about which figures uh benefited the most from feist and body swaps and oh those were giving me so many ideas like you see the kind of the next level of, of figures that are next level that these figures are taken to. So, uh, <laughs> uh, Equan saying, apparently the rule is not tap dancing. You aren't allowed to change your mind. There you go. Uh, boom. So let's move on there. That was all in good fun. It was not uh, targeting anybody. It was actually intended to be inclusive, but, um, GG is saying, Ben, oh my God, I have to tell you a funny story. I'll message you. What the what the hell? Say it, say it to everyone. Say it to the entire group here. <laughs> uh, figure posing channel. <laughs> have a great day, everyone. Hey, thanks for joining. Appreciate you. All right, so let's let's start with the hot take game. And Ben, you're going to be the first one up here to choose the category. So the categories are mm -hmm. Jesus, no habla espanol, fellas. Um, <laughs> It's about sending a message. Excelsior, shout out to Six Scale Scavengers there. Uh, what up, Big Perm? The Poor Cousin. You have no idea what I've done is the final category. Ben, which one do you choose? It's alone. Sending what I've done alone. Message. Excuse me, what I've done alone. Apologies, apologies. <laughs> about sending a message. You don't want to know right, that one. I don't want to. I don't want to get into that this early in the it's morning. About sending a message. All right. So, but my boy Ben knew exactly what we were talking about here. So, um, it's about sending a message. Obviously, we are going to be talking about the J and D Joker. So, hmm. Ben, what you've got to defend, the hot take you've got to defend is, God. you should sell your in art <laughs> Joker and get the J and D oh. C type. Now, the the ship may have you know, sailed on that because obviously the pre-order is come and gone and it wasn't open to, uh, to our region, but that wouldn't stop a real collector now, would, would it? Um, so Ben, tell us why we should sell our in our jokers and buy the highest tier of JMD. As long as nobody clips this and then says, this guy, Ben, he's so unreasonable. Can you imagine he would say this live on a stream? <laughs> we hate to see it. Uh, let's be honest. None of us are in this hobby uh, to make money, right? And so if you think about selling your in art at this point in order to fund that astronomically high type C product, um, then at least you'll probably at least, I want to say, get half your money back for an in art at this point with the new announcement. So, you know, that's call it 700 bucks towards your next figure purchase of this $1,700 item. Now, I think the likeness for the serious sculpt is actually very good. I definitely see the likeness, I think the most of any figure I've seen of Heath's. And it shows kind of his degradation of his makeup over the course of the film. You know, when you first see him with the mafia guys, he's got pretty thick makeup, kind of like the in art version. But if you happen to keep your in art version and still just want the type C anyways, then you'll also get a chance to see that progression into madness while his makeup slowly starts to kind of run off uh, and uh, further along through the movie. So I think you could have a progression of jokers in your collection. Uh, the smiling sculpt, while I don't think it's the strongest, is the first time we've seen any level of smilingness, let's be honest, since the DX11 Joker which my criticism there was that at least there was a laughing sculpt with that Joker, but this is close to a laugh, I would say. Um, you know, I think there was somebody that said, uh, you know, there's no scene in the movie where he looks exactly like this, but uh, there's one 
one scene in the movie that I think you could kind of futz it into uh, if you really, really wanted to. It also kind of looks a little bit like niche from Nick's underscore collectibles uh, if you put them through side by side. So definitely worth, definitely worth considering getting in the queue for that 500 piece order. Wow, Ben, I'm rock hard right now. You really yeah. you could sell, you could sell paint to <laughs> someone in an ice storm. That's a, a shameless percent. boner. And he does. <laughs> a shameless do. boner. That's right. <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, well, well nice. said, Ben. Sound so, like, right. Sounds like um, Marco's going to leave Ben looking like a painter's radio he keeps talking. Holy yeah. cow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Next Oxcon, baby, we're oh, doing it. That was a hard so, one. Uh... That was a hard one. <laughs> oh, so... shit, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Eddie. Thank oh, you. Man. I had to think, man. That's a little too <laughs> he, much. <laughs> he just went into, like, Rain Man calculating mode. <laughs> You know that scene, scene in The Hangover with your man uh, before he goes to, uh, uh, to the table? Yeah. Like the table. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, man. <laughs> so, Jason. Oh, man. Amazing. So I'm going to open it up to the rest of the panel. Joao, actually, let's start with you because you actually had access to purchase this and you may have made some decisions based on that. So maybe give us your experience on, on this and how you decided what you were going to do or not do with this uh, J&D Joker. What do you mean what I'm going to do? <laughs> I was trying to leave some mystery. I was just, I didn't okay. want to steal all the thunder. Well, for me, it was, it was uh, basically about the, the silicon, the implement, the implementing the silicon into one six scale figure. Um, and I wanted to have the first one six scale figure by JMD. Uh, I always wanted to get their Arthur Fleck, that statue, because I think he's the best statue they made until now. Uh, I never got it and I wanted to get this one and um, it was a bit difficult because um, at the time of pre-order when I was to to choose the country I never I didn't know that China was not available to and China was not there oh wow so, okay, I didn't realize that yeah so at the like last minute I had to 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 help uh, ask help for some friends and that, that's why this community is so amazing because you always have someone to help you out and um yeah it's a good point i got it i'm happy with it and uh now it's a long wait quarter to 2025 yeah so, so so the price that was leaked initially right it was 1700 usd yeah. right for the type c exactly it was uh, 1700 no more no less because it's free shipping oh it is free shipping okay got it got yeah it. All right, but so theoretically, whoever helped you out will have to ship it to you, though, right? So it might be a little, little extra. Cost. No, no, because you will receive them locally here. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah, you'll receive me local, locally here. Okay. That's, uh, that, that's I don't know awesome. if you heard the story, but um, Christian helped out Bob Dylan to pre-order one also. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, yeah, and that, that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. And, and Bob Dylan is saying the community is what makes this hobby truly fun. K-pop collector is the MVP. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. always for you bob <laughs> that's right. always was, uh... yeah bob dylan has a lot of saved up uh, tokens but he would never uh, cash them in for bad what was that eddie christian was like bob you're gonna have to send me a lot of money and and bob was like do you know who the fuck i am <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no but that that's incredible though hearing stories about you know folks helping each other out to secure something that's uh yeah this is highly coveted so joao did these sell out like pretty quick there were 500 allocated these went no like they are still available on the website oh, oh i thought you said yeah. there were only 50 left last week last we spoke no but no not not that's not on the oh yeah on the website in the afternoon was 56 but now when we were on collectors unite i was checking that there was like 22 something like that because oh, you, need, you need to understand this the assortment was divided for the korean jmd website it sold out like in 15 minutes or so 200 uh, Korean website, the Korean website had 200 pieces. The English web website had 300 pieces, and those are not are the ones not sold out. And and of course they are not selling out because the countries that from we, for which they are available, it's mostly Europe, and um, and like uh, only Hong Kong in Asia, nothing more. So. If US the US market was was available there, I'm sure at this moment it was already probably sold sold out. Yeah, and 
so qu really quickly just in regards to the price though right so if it's 1700 bucks it's a lot it's not an insignificant amount of money um, but if it was that free shipping to us i think i would highly have considered like okay if it's opened it's, it's a lot you'd have to sacrifice other one six scale figures you'd really have to love this this uh set but it's something that i, I could have considered but they made you it easy for it us tight. it wasn't available I don't, i'm definitely not going to go chasing it on the aftermarket so <laughs> uh equan saying marco has serious fomo now yeah <laughs> you know I, I will have fomo because this much like you know others on here this is one of my favorite villains this is a character that i want like a really premium representation but i'm really happy with the with the in art version um so opening it up to everyone else is anyone else on the panel considering the type b and type a of this at all yeah, to add to my point, because I, like, I was purposely being a little silly for the sake of your, your question, I think uh, for me, right from the get-go, the Type A was actually the most attractive version. Uh, I do really like the, the more serious look to him, like from this photo. I did a side-by-side -side comparison with my in-art photo yesterday, one of my favorite in-art photos that I've taken of my own collection. Um, and I... I mean, people did make great points that the, there was a pretty solid makeup job from him on the beginning, and kind of, as I said, it did wear away throughout the film. Um, I did a quick Instagram poll yesterday. It had uh, 70 votes, and it was actually in art that won the voting poll. Uh, at 54%, people thought still in art was a better likeness than the J&D. So I thought that that was interesting, because I honestly thought when I did the side-by-side -side that J&G might actually get a little bit more hype. But for me, I am going to try and lock in the Type A, at least, uh, just to see. It would be cool to have a first to J&D piece. I think the other thing is, as I was very critical in some of my earlier videos this week, of J&D waiting so long to actually show us, like, real pictures so we could get hyped. But apparently, at least on the statue side of j and I've been told by a lot of statue collectors that that's something that's pretty standard with j and that they'll often kind of give you only, like, slight teases and not actually the full pictures until pretty much the day of order. So um, I didn't know that. I'm obviously not a statue guy. So that was kind of an interesting, as I said, I was critical of that. And I guess that's that's kind of their game plan. But I, I would say it worked because we have all been talking about it all week. So I don't know what the analytics look like that, but it worked. So yeah, type A is I think the one I'm going to chase this weekend still. There we go. It is kind of it is a bit scary though, right? Because I what I've seen from their statues. Now I'm not a statue collector. I haven't seen any of these in person, but from the prototype pictures to pictures that collectors post online, I have seen a bit of a degradation from the Harley Quinn, from their Joker. Um, so it is a bit concerning to spend this amount of money, even if you're doing Type A. That's significantly more than most <laughs> one six scale uh, collectibles. Um, to not really, to something that feels a bit unproven to me, but not mm -hmm. saying I won't do it. I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat as You've you, Ben. You've seen uh, ben. degradation from their statues? I have. That Harley Quinn, to me, again, from, from what I've seen, that maybe looks different in person, but to me, it looked not as good as the prototype. Prototype looked just oh. like Margot Robbie. Final, I don't oh. know, looked You're a little off to me. from proto to product. Final. Proto there to you product. go, to final product. So Although I... There's a... Uh, in the in the statue community, you either love or hate J and D, right? That's how it is. It's you either love them and you buy everything, or you hate them and talk shit about them the whole time. And yeah. there's this one guy that is very adamant that J and D in the statue community is one of the best companies that is consistent with either being as good as their protos or better when the product releases. Um. And I feel like that holds up with their statues. I never thought that that Harley Quinn looked good. I always thought it looked a little off. Uh, to me, it looks like a Latina Harley Quinn. Like, that's when I look at it. So that one, I can agree with you. But it's funny because the Joker in 1.6 actually looks way better than their one-third Joker, which is insane to me how you can do like that much that better in, so in much a more? smaller... Uh, totally. median than you can in I would think in a bigger median that would be easier but I don't know how they pulled it off in in one six but it does look a lot better than their one third offering so 
for sure. Casual Nerd yeah. Problem says, uh, Sup Peeps, haven't seen any degradation with their statues. Picks aren't the best according to collectors, but they say it's better in person. Also, their production stuff is always better. Um, I had a couple people that collect J&D reach out to my comments yesterday as well, uh, Marco, and say that, in their opinion, J&T actually sees improvements on their finals versus their protos, at least based on their opinions of their own collections. Uh, which is interesting. But when we talk about the risk, I mean, we talked about this yesterday, you and I, like, I felt like that there was a bit of a downgrade, even on the in-art version. The the prototype photo we saw of the in-art literally looked like a movie still. The day we finally got to see what the final was going to look like, I remember you, me, and Shane, and a couple of their Dark Knight buddies there were all kind of like, what do you think? <laughs> you know, like, are we still happy? Like, oh, God, <laughs> you know, so... I think there was a bit of a downgrade even on InArt, and I'm really happy with that one, so we'll see. And so really quickly, Bob Dylan says, it's closer to Harley Davidson than Margot Robbie. And I don't yeah. recall if Bob Dylan has the Margot Robbie, but I know he has the Catwoman he doesn't. for sure. So. He doesn't. He has the Catwoman and Joker. And the Jokers. There you go. So so he's he's a true J&D collector. He can talk about it, unlike me, who, who really shouldn't be talking about it. Hopefully, oh, uh, sorry. And he also, has the, he also has the, um, the Dark Knight. Oh, there you go. So, so he's got a really mistaken. large sample size. So I really do always trust Bob Dylan's uh, comments. But uh, yeah, this is this one. He really knows his stuff for sure. Uh, go ahead, Ben. I was gonna say I've seen a couple of people mention this. These are medical grade silicone too. Supposedly they last up to thirty years from Casual Nerd Problems. Great uh, channel, by the way, if you don't follow Casual. But um, my question there, I guess, would be uh, if anybody has it or if anybody can let us know. Like, because obviously nobody's had one of these for thirty years yet, but. Does that mean that you can't touch it? Like, does it need to be in a controlled environment and free of hand oil? Because, I mean, like, I, I work in paint, right? We always say, don't touch your paint job for 30 days because then there's the cure time. But then still, hand oil resistance will wear paint over time. That's why you'll eventually need a repaint. My same question would be, yeah, like, do, yeah, will it last 30 years if it's in a nicely sealed box or cabinet that nobody touches? Or is it I don't know if, resistant? Um, I don't know if... Uh, Queen used different silicone when they did their bus. But when those bus came out, the only issue that people were having is the silicone would sweat. Um, so that was the thing that was like the biggest issue. And they recommended that you put a sort of powder on them. I think some people were using baby powder. I, I'm not saying to use baby powder, but I know that they had that issue with silicone. I haven't heard anything about JND's statue silicone um but i know that that was happening with the queen bus when they were first being released the sweating issue and then um that's true though that the uh statue collectors don't touch their statues very much and if we're gonna be moving this around now i think that when we say we're gonna pose it i think you gotta realize like you, you gotta do slight poses if you're trying to move this like spider-man dude then that's on you you know i don't but then I what's feel the like point of you having shouldn't the, have the, to explain the insane this to posability though, right? Is it just the look of it? Yeah, see, the... but that kind of thinking, I don't like that thinking. Like, you sh you got to use common sense. It's a, it is insane posabil posability, but at your own risk. You know what I mean? Like, I shouldn't have to explain that to you. And I think J&D thinks the same thing. Like, yes, you can. Doesn't mean you should, hmm. you know? It's like I mean, the, they, they literally that's gave why us they are giving you, yeah, yeah, go, go on, Ben. I was just going to say, they literally gave us a solicitation photo of his neck, like, cocked like this, though. Like, I'd still mm -hmm. say that they're really advertising and pushing the posability. Um, if, they're, if their opinion of that was do it at your own risk, I think that they should give a caveat to that then, honestly, because there are still new people getting into the collection, even if it's an insane price point. You'd be surprised. Okay, but right? on your stove, do you have a sign that says, caution, fire, hot? Exactly. Yes. I mean, there, yes, but we're in Canada, so maybe it's extra safe. Natural selection is a thing for a reason. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> to be fucking fair, lads, there's a reason they dye methanol purple. Like, uh, unfortunately, yeah, natural selection. It's a real, very real thing. So, yeah. And really quickly, want to shout out Cobra's collection saying, What's up, my positive 1 6 collectors? I think that you tuned into the wrong stream. No one has ever accused us of being positive, but no, appreciate you being in here. And <laughs> we're a toxic bunch, but you know what? We're. <laughs> I don't like picking years. sides. I don't want to be known as the negative person. I don't want to be known as the positive person. Just call it like you see it. There we go. Just what it was. I agree. Time. So, 
I think um, Bob Dylan's recent comment should be J and D's tagline. To be honest, mm. go ahead and read. Be it gentle out. with your figures. Be brutal with your flashlights. Not all silicone is meant to be abused. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Exactly. <laughs> Unless it's on a gal that Ben Thomas is dating. Anyways, Joao, are you wow. saying something about uh, about this? No, because um, the um, James from JND did say that um, the articulated fingers, the end with articulated fingers, they will offer what one time replacement for all customers, because apparently the fingers are very fragile. If you use too much strength, they may break. So they will offer one-time replacement uh, for all everyone that got this uh, this Joker. And if I may, um, he he did say to kind of sugarcoat that he said um they didn't include that in articulated hands for the rest of the types for A and B because and I'm not. I'm not exaggerating. Jesus, I'm, Jesus but, Christ. Take care of what you are going to say. This is literally is his so words. Good. And he said, the regular collectors will not be ready for something like that. They'll be bitching and they'll be, you know, crying about their... One six collectors their, you know, never. No, no, like never, right? Exactly. But so he, he said like the non uh experienced true collectors will not be ready for such a you know some some quality hands so that's why they only are offering to the true you know c type buying the true you know j and i's fans out there what a load of bollocks that sounds like, <laughs> I, tell, that I tell you one thing like i the think most elite gatekeeping i've ever heard in my life <laughs> i i think bro but it's true i think it if is, if yeah. that if that if that guy because that guy live streams almost every day, like the CEO of JND. If he, if you had sub subtitles for what the shit he says, <laughs> I think no one would buy would buy stuff from him because Dude, he's, I he's would completely love, crazy. I would love to just record one of the streams and just write it down and translate it and just just read that on my stream. It's like you guys, you guys be you know enthused. This 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 could be exciting. I mean, yeah, yeah it's, these are. It's almost like um, listening to a wow. priest trying to sell drugs it's like you have to close your eyes and do not hear these naysayers and these non-believers and we are J and D and it sounds like I'm sorry about I'm, I'm, not, I'm not this is nothing this is nothing on you but um yeah this guy is almost like a drug dealer who's also a priest that's what yeah, I think it's just his wording I think he just doesn't know how to talk business like that's should, the thing I, that's the thing no, no, no. Head, he does he does, but it's just like I think he's had too much beef around the Korean community because the Korean community is not an easy community. They, you think our community is rough, dude? These yellow motherfuckers, they, they, these are some bitches out here. So like, yeah, he he is active on that community and he writes posts and he <laughs> he he comments on the you know like these naysayers and say so like. So yeah, I'm, I'm guessing after doing that for several years, you can see his kind of attitude could direct to something like that. So what you're saying is uh, he was the hero and he lived long enough to become the villain is what you're trying to say. I wouldn't put it that way, but... Um, that no, shit. but I think I... Nice. See, in a, like I both love and hate this guy because in a way... <laughs> He talks to the community the way I would talk to the community after mm -hmm. the years that I've been on YouTube. You know, like, sometimes you're just like, you know what? I try to explain it in a simple way, and you motherfuckers don't get it. So now I'm just going to be like, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? You sound like but the way he says Yeah, you got the point. Yeah, exactly. The third bad. Time. Like, you mm -hmm. can't say true collectors and things like that because it's going to single people out. So, But I think and the he point care. he was trying to get across was don't try to ball this up in a fist because the hand is not meant to do that like you can move it subtly but don't and that's why he's saying like true collectors he's trying to you know i will say there's a better way to do it though right because like when um when in art put out their joker hair rooted hair styling video it was kind of them holding our hands like hey you know what for those that aren't used to rooted hair here's how you should handle it 
it didn't feel condescending at all. It just felt like, oh, thanks for like giving me a pointer on what I should expect when I open it uh, up from the box. So I think there is a way to do it delicately. Christian, I saw your your finger up. You were going to say something. Nah, I- because uh, I, I was, you know, just trying to add on what Eddie was saying. Cause I know Eddie, you're trying to be, uh, trying to defend or, or trying to be nice for that guy, but um, I, I tried defending him for like a, I, I don't know, several months, ever, ever since um, um, Bob told me about his streams. I try to be nice, but uh, that guy, he, he does not care what he says, dude. He, 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 talk about spicy stuff. If you guys could understand Korean. You guys will laugh your asses off, dude. I mean, these, this, is, this is some stuff you guys are missing out. So, so, so you used to be all like, you know, no, he's actually a really fun guy, really nice guy once you get to know him. And now you've got to know him and you're like, I was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is sounding a lot like the vow on HBO. I Max, gave him so two that... months and then not work. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. So, Shane, I think I, I'm really eager to hear your opinion, right? So you've been, you know, you put out a few opinions uh, on your channel, but... You're a big Dark Knight person. Really, really curious to know if you're leaning towards picking up any of these. And before we get there, I just want to really quickly say the picture we're looking at here, Hot Toys prototype for their their new 2.0 Joker or 3.0 Joker on the left, in our uh, proto in the middle, and then J and D Studios on the right. And this is the K1 Master um, comparison here. So, um, so Shane, take it away. What do you what are you feeling about these? Put those pictures back up again, there, will you? Yeah, of course, of Please. course. Sorry, I, I pressed the wrong button here. You're right. I remember my first day. Wow. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> <clears throat> um, all right. Certain lines, my default setting is not interested. Sequels, not interested. Don't care how good the head sculpt is. Don't care how good the proportions are. Don't care how good the accessories are. Don't care. Certain things, though, my default settings naturally, I'm going to have a look. Right? So I was curious for JND, not just for the new technology, but also for, because it was it was a dark night. I'm kind of sick of, and it, it kills me to say it, I, I'm i kind of sick of the whole having to talk about the Heat Ledger Joker, but I'm not sick of loving the character. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like your favorite yeah. song on the radio, even if it's an absolute banger and you love it, it's your favorite band and it's just perfect. If you hear it constantly on the radio, it'll kind of wear it down a little bit. You know, Mariah Carey, so, all I want for Christmas is you. Yeah, it just yeah, comes yeah, back exactly. around. But, but if you look at these here, uh, in these three here, the in art does look the best. I'd argue that the Hot Toys Artisan looks better than the J and D. Now, before people absolutely lose their shit, this one on the right here, that weird whatever expression that is, that's not the neutral expression. The neutral expression in the J and D would probably be a better comparison. Yeah, is that is that the neutral one on the right? That's the neutral on the right, yeah. That looks really, really good. So I think Ben actually nailed it earlier on. The um originally I was kind of going, right, the the first the the type C I've no interest in simply because okay, it's great that it's silicone and all that, that's fine. And that you know they're they're seamless joints. But the Joker has a shirt, a waistcoat, a jacket. A purple coat. You cannot see the seams on his neck or, you know, the, the joints of his neck. You cannot see the joints in the elbow. You cannot see the joints in knees. You cannot see the joints in the wrist mostly. So this, the technology is amazing. I'm really impressed by the glass eyes, the magnetic glass eyes, the, you know, silicone body and whatever, if it holds up. All that is great. But if you look at the one I was actually interested in, the, 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 the one on the, the very first one or the middle one, the inclusion of the dogs is cool. But I think because the thing looks so real, the actual figure, the dogs will look out of place. I applaud that they're trying to do something different. But I think what they're actually doing there is they're going, the difference between the type A, which is $800, and then the type B, which is like $1,200, it's really a head sculpt. But you know what? We need to throw in something more to beef that up. So they're putting in the two dogs. So, and then when they give us the actual head sculpt here that isn't actually, the smirk one, I don't think it's great. Is it worth another $400 for a sculpt that I don't think actually nails it? Because at that price point, you can't afford to have ifs and buts. Everyone should be like, that's amazing, but I can't afford it, whatever. Um, and I think it comes down to like, the only one I'd be interested in would be the first one. But to be honest, I'm happy with what I have. And... 
you kind of said on another stream, Marco, you can afford anything, but you can't afford everything. That's right. So if you were to put like the, the basics, right? You put to put the, the purple haired, uh, uh, so, you know, the, the purple coat rooted in art. You put that next to the type A version of this, the in art or sorry, the, the J&D may well be better, but what's most important? The basics. The sculpt, the paint apps, the rooted hair, the proportion, the tailoring. That's the basics. Everyone else, all the accessories and stuff, that's nice. But the basics, it probably will beat the in art one. But um, I don't know, is it enough to pay the extra money just for those nuances? I probably got my point around that way. But yeah, it, it does look good. But I, I don't think that sculpt, that weird smirking, smiling, so I don't know what it is, um, looks like him i don't think they've nailed that but a neutral that one i'm not happy with i think i think they're just targeting the true collectors now i think they're targeting um people that want to go from 98 percent to 99 percent. because i don't think they need to be compared they're both fucking amazing you know what i mean they're like, they don't need to be this versus that they're both amazing i just think it goes from zero like you know what I mean? It goes from one level to uh, another level, which there is that level of collector in the community. And it's like the Bob Dylan's, right? Like the, the guys that buy the customs and want the insane stuff. And I think that's who they're trying to, to, to market to with this, because in my head, the, like the NR, most of the in art looks better. I think the only thing that looks better is the paint and the likeness on the J and D. I even like the rooted hair better on the in art. The J and D's looks almost too greased and gelled up. Um, but that's what I think they're trying to do. I just don't know that. I don't know that that market is big enough for, for how much they're trying to do. I was really surprised when they said the limit was 500 on the type C because it, to me, it should have been half that. Because I don't even know... I know that you guys said the Type-C sold out in, in uh, Korea. Or almost and sold it's still out. And it was left. still available in other areas. And I also didn't know that it was like an exclusive to that area. I knew that it wouldn't be licensed here, but I didn't know that the Type-C was going to be exclusive to to certain areas. Um, but yeah, it, to me, I think the Type-A is going to sell out the fastest of all of them. Because I think people want to try it but the type c is like shane said it's not enough for the type c it's not enticing enough for that so i don't think type a is limited though right anyone on the panel correct me if i'm wrong but i think it won't a be, and b will be i don't think yeah. it'll be so an actual about number that, the a and b in total should be three thousand total i, I don't know already. how that's going to be divided but it's going to be a and b should be at an equal three thousand yeah. thank you just for that uh, info. one okay. point there um Mm -hmm. Just Mafia was saying there, I want joints. I don't want joints, but I think you were on a stream recently, Mafia, where you said that you're not excited about the character because you're not the biggest fan of the particular trilogy, but you're excited about the tech. And I completely agree with that. And I don't think this is necessarily the best figure to show off the tech. Uh, something with more exposed joints would probably be the obvious choice to show off that technology. And, you know, I don't know, Bruce Lee or whatever. Um, and I'm also eating crisps. We call it, you call them chips, we call them crisps. And the third point is Nathan Henderson, if you don't have the in art, maybe, then maybe this. If you have the in art, I just don't see the extra investment in something so close in quality. That, yeah, that kind of nails it as well. If I didn't have the in art, in art never existed, maybe I'd be interested in that type A like Ben there. And re really quick clarification. So crisps are overseas are our, our, our chips fries are your chips and chips yeah. are okay my head exploded i don't i can't we call this. when you, what you call fries we call chips that's right <laughs> and then what you call chips we call crisps that's right <laughs> yeah. i love it love to see it a really quick counterpoint to what eddie was saying though in terms of like where they're where they're targeting uh, their market i feel like if they just came out with that c type and like okay 1700 bucks it's 500 limited once it's gone it's whatever it's for the real collectors that may feel a bit more valid but the fact that they're coming out with other um, versions that are a little closer to what someone may have paid for 
you know, the uh, in art version or even a little bit above the hot toys rooted version. It's almost like they're trying to play off that progressive seduction where like you've already paid this much, but if you pay just a little bit more, we can get you an even more premium version. So it does feel like they're trying to kind of have their cake and eat it too, almost like they're they're going after uh, everybody, but maybe pushing the limits of everyone's kind of boundaries on what they're comfortable for a single or, or double pack. But that's just kind of how I see it. I um, think that else? single go ahead, go ahead. is still... Um, I think that single is still marketed to that same market. I just think that they don't know how to do it yet because this is their first one six uh, figure. So they're st- it's almost like that saying when it's like they're tr- throwing spaghetti. I almost t- talk like Shane. God, I'm streaming with him too much. I was about to say trolling. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> I, they're throwing you spaghetti at the wall you to, see to see what it. sticks. <laughs> and um. They, they don't know what's working yet. So they offer three different versions. They're going to see what sells. And then I I have a feeling in the next release, we might see that tighten up. There might not be three versions in the next release. A little. So we'll see. Yeah, it. maybe. Maybe that you're right. They're, they're trying to see what everyone will go for. Uh, Christian, you had a counterpoint there? No, because um, I heard the, uh, the Bruce Wayne will be next. And um, I... I heard him say um, they they might they're thinking about only doing A and B and the B version will be the ultimate with the two pack with the armory, so uh, yeah I think Eddie you're you're on point. There we go. That that's how they get you in the door was with the A type and then if you theoretically love it once you get it in hand then they pull the chair out from under you like okay now there's only eighteen hundred dollar versions and uh, yeah we'll we'll see how this all plays out but lots of options for collectors. Um, I, I do want to go back to the only person that's already purchased it, uh, if, you know, here. So, Joao, any more to say on this? Like, we've obviously had a pretty thorough conversation, but you're you're pretty excited, even given that all the Jokers you already have. I only have two. I only have two Jokers. It's a lot I'm of Jokers for most people. Uh, no, I, I, what can what can I add for what, what everyone already said? Um, I think first they make a mistake of releasing so many joke, uh, releasing so many A, B, and C, and and everything. Um, but then uh, about the silicon, the the that they you is a body that will not show much, much, much. That we need to to think about one thing. We are not yet in the in the technology that all the body all the all the body is silicon. The only silicon part here is the neck and and the head. The body is a plastic body. So we cannot think like uh, someone was saying. Page twenty three was saying, for example, Bane, right? But Bane, even so, you would have to use him with a coat. Because you would have you benefit maybe for some muscles in the fo- in the arms, and not mu- not much more because they are not doing silicon bodies yet, and I don't know if that will will ever happen. That will be a completely uh, silicon body. I don't know if uh, a company like JMD is ready to risk that far. Um, so for now, this is what we have. This is one step further in the one six scale, and I I think. Um, I kind of heard John from Inart saying that uh, Queen Studios worked a lot with silicon, but it was extremely difficult to to work the silicon at one six scale. So I don't know if 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 this will be the 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 most that we get from silicon is a, a neck that can that can rotate that something like that with invisible joints. Uh, for now, is is what we have and. I'm just kind of mad hearing Christian telling me on Collectors Unite, telling everyone that um, they are going to do the Harry Potter stuff in one six k Jesus Christ. <laughs> but now yeah, we I'm are sorry. going to have a, a NAR 2.0 and then it's Lord of the Rings. And then so we are going to have the same figures in art is doing. JMD follows suit. This is all because of the license. They are all getting the same license and they are playing with with what they can because Hot Toys have everything else. So they, they only can play with... It must have been with, a package deal. And yeah, must be very cheap, this license, because everyone gets these licenses. Yeah. It's a package. Yeah, apparently, you, you have to do a Heath Ledger first. <laughs> that's did right. You, that's what you got. Uh, Joao, did you go Type-C, yeah? 
Yeah, Type C. And are they limited to 500 globally? Uh, they yeah, they only did 500. Gotcha. That's kind of cool though. But I hope at least that they they each Joker, each pack comes with a edition number. Yeah, as far as I know, the C type is going to be numbered, and I don't think the other, the A and B, will be numbered, though. Yeah. And but... Ben Thomas, do you, you're interested in the type A. And I can't rule out, I can't rule out pulling the trigger on that. I don't think it will. But do you, like, do you have a, a plan? Do you have a game plan? 1 6 K or. I think Ben may be on a, a work call right now, but no, um, so, uh, oh, it's okay. I can I can answer super quick. Um, I right. like I think if one six kit makes it available, they would be the ones that I would go through just because I'm in Canada, and I've had a good experience with them getting their uh, like my internet from them as well. So, um, yeah, I I think for like for me, I know you guys were saying like what's the use in comparing? They're all so good. Um, I've. I've always felt like my inner wasn't exactly the likeness that I wanted, even in like how I have it displayed behind me right now. He's, you know, he's going to do his like his iconic pose with the grenades and everything. But I've had his head sculpt tilted down. So when you walk into the room, you can see the makeup and you can see the hair. And it definitely, definitely unquestionably looks like the Joker uh, for me until I tilt his head up. And then to me, it loses the likeness when I look at him directly in the face. When I look at the other photo that you had, Marco, the comparison of the serious faces, I definitely see like the J and D to me looks the most like Heath. The other two look like amazing, amazing cosplayers, like so close that in passing, you might not notice, but when you actually look at them in the face, one would be Heath Ledger, the other two, not so much. So that's the only reason to me that I'm willing to even justify the $800 rumored price point for the, the for the type A, because he's my favorite character. But that's the only reason. Like, I wouldn't go chasing the Harry Potter line. I wouldn't go chasing the, the Lord of the Rings line. If Like, if they do those and I already have those figures, I think I'd be happy with what we already have in the market. The only reason I'd consider the Joker at this point is because it would be the one character that if I shed all of the rest of my collection, but I could have a perfect likeness to one character, for me, it would be this Joker. So, but that's that's just a me thing. That's just a preferential thing. I can totally understand why most people are like, the in-art Joker is way better than I've ever expected a figure to get. Uh, and I'm totally happy with that. So, yeah. Yeah, and so I'm kind of with all the rest of the group, I guess minus Christian, where I'm considering that type A, but... I don't know. I, I've got to see a bit more to be compelled, and it's going to come down to what the final price shipped to my doorstep is, and what the after service, you know, care is. I have a feeling that Kit may just say, you know, once you get it, if there's an issue, you got to deal with J and D directly. Like they, he's kind of shifted to doing with the uh, with in art, and that scares me for sure with the silicon. So silicone, uh, either way. Um, any more to say on this before we move on to the next topic? All right, we've we've beat off this one pretty well. So uh, let's see, Eddie, you are up next to pick. I'm going to go through the categories again, unless you have one in mind that you want to choose. I'm going to do Home Alone, or the what I do alone is my business. So I forgot oh, what. Gosh, all right. <laughs> uh, you have no idea what I've done alone. This one. Yeah. All right. So this one is. Aww. <laughs> we had so many all great right. Batman related figures to talk about. And you go and choose <laughs> the one I don't but want I think, to talk about. <laughs> there we go. But I think Joao uh, will give us a hard time if we didn't speak about this one. So right. the topic Let's you've got to defend is the Riva sculpt is so good. Uh, it doesn't even matter if you didn't like Kenobi, you should pick up the figure. So I have to sell that. <laughs> uh, Let's see what you got. I, I honestly think the Riva sculpt is really good. I think the whole figure is really good. I think the outfit looks great. I think the body like proportions look amazing. I think everything about the figure is amazing. I do think it's slightly softer, but not enough. I think that's it's not enough to be like, oh, it's not like the prototype. The prototype was insane. And the biggest difference to me is the braids. The braids were more crisp in the prototype, but I feel like in the product, it's still amazing. It's just slightly less crisp, but honestly, this is one of those ones where the figure 
looks amazing, and I think if you have any interest in the character at all, you got to get the figure. Um, I don't have interest in the character or the show at all, so I passed. But I definitely think it's one of their better sculpts uh, from 2023. It just edged out this year, so it'll probably be considered for next year. But I think it's pretty damn good to the actress. Yeah, man. That really well said. Um, so opening it up to everyone else, uh, any thoughts on this, Reva? Anyone here considering getting this? I was watching. If I don't like this shit and I could say something, <laughs> someone could say something. <laughs> <laughs> I, very I, popular I, figure here. Th- there was a few head sculpts, um, prototypes that were announced during the year that I was watching with a keen interest. Uh, Reva was one of them. The... Um, the inner Aragorn was another one that Tom Holland, that final swing was another one. Um, just because they were so good. I want to, I want to see if they're going to turn out as well. I do think there's a bit of a downgrade for the prototype, but I, I, I still see Moses Ingram here. No question. It's just that the, the prototype was so realistic that um, I was really keen to see if they could deliver. And I don't think it's as good as that, but I think it's close enough. What I said yesterday on OFAC was, I think the gap between this and the prototype is narrower than the gap between the product and prototype for the 1973 Wolverine. But I'm still getting the 1973 Wolverine because it's a triple threat. And this, I didn't care for the character. Well said. Well said, Shane. Um, so Christian, Joao, our Star Wars collectors here, uh, either of you get in this one? Well, I... As like I said, you know, starting from from the stream, I normally, did normally pre-order her. Normally, when you give, uh, I'm you talking to the chance, no, no, no. when you are given the, I'm when talking. you are given the it's chance like, to speak, well, you let the older person speak first. <laughs> this is something that you need to learn. <laughs> well, I, well, I don't know, I don't care, but uh, yeah, uh, as I, as I was saying, the, yeah, I uh, I already have this on pre-order, so I have no uh option to back out so i'm uh i don't know i don't know like it is a downgrade it is a downgrade but it is it is a little disappointing i i I hate to say but um it's not so much as is like off-putting but it's it's because like the prototype photos were so good that i had so high hopes for this one and to see it kind of you know not not hitting it too good is i don't know how to feel because i'm gonna get anyways and is it like like a uh like the worst figure of the year no i can't say that either but like i don't know i don't know but but all i all i know is i'm i feel like i should have waited because what happens usually here and you know on this part of the world if if it's not really a very like 100 percent figure everything does get discounted you know bargain bin so i could have waited and that's Literally the only awesome kind of you know gripe i i could have but uh yeah sometimes we and you were saying time. joel i'm sorry no uh i talk about this when you when you were asking about the deals i said i want to get get reeve and the um, grand inquisitor I, I will get it anyway i think there's um you saw the batman release this week and you saw amazing blogger photos but then in this one i think the the, the relies a lot on 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 the on the photos really i was very disappointed with the blogger photos from Cobb Vent, because if you have Cobb Vent in the in the end, it looks way better than than the the blogger photos. It's hard to so, tell sometimes, right? Yeah. So uh, and I I I think was in collecting weekly. I don't know if it was Dean or s- someone was saying, and that caught my attention because someone was saying that the Cobb Vent hot toys, they didn't the the, the the his um his shirt was just a plain red, without any details. And I was worried about that, but when you have that in hands, it does have a, the, that shirt has uh, patterns on it, and on the blogger photos you couldn't see that. You thought it would make believe that was just a plain red red shirt, but actually there are patterns on that shirt. So there are details that even in the blogger photos uh, fail to pass uh, to us, and 
I kind of agree with Helen. Helen just now on Collector's Match, she said she doesn't care anything about blogger photos because many times uh, you get um, uh, you don't you don't see what you are really getting in hands. I agree with that. Yeah, it's just one data point. It can't be the uh, the only thing we rely on to make the decision. I definitely I definitely see that. No, but 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 that, that that's uh, Hot Toys decision. Every time they release a figure is to to throw up blogger photos. It's right? True. They Everyone on just wants to see the blogger photos. So there's a lot of um those photos are important for many people. Some people even cancel pre-orders based on blogger photos. It's true. Tap so Hmm? Tap dancers cancel. <laughs> uh, yeah, but dancers. like sometimes, is really bad. Blogger photos. That tell me one figure that was really bad. Tell me one. Oh, okay, that was okay. Really... I'll tell you one. Oh, that Doc Ock head sculpt is not good. <laughs> ah. like it's fucking not good. I still bought yeah. it, but that's because the rest of the figure gets it over the line. But I accept. But just because I bought it doesn't mean I'm gonna go. No, it's great. It's great. The, they missed the mark there, and I think the blogger photos do show us that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with going, okay, just the blogger photos. Maybe watch a few more reviews, but yeah, I think that's I think that's fair enough. Some wants to cancel because they don't think it turned out good. So I don't know I about that Doc Ock. I don't have it in hand, and no, I don't know. Really Marco quick, says it's amazing. Bad. Go ahead, ben. Really quick take there, just in terms of the blogger photos. This is actually one. So this is a slide that I'd made. Um, because I think like this is this is from the same set of like blogger photos, but one is clearly taken by a different photographer than the other. We keep saying, you know, like this one looks like it's a bit of a downgrade. If you take a look at the left picture there, you can see kind of like a shine on her face. It looks a little bit more plasticky. It looks like some of the detail is lost. And then you see a professional photo of the same figure taken right beside it, which is not the prototype. This came out with the same set of blogger photos as well. And the one on the right looks like a real person standing there. So I think it just highlights kind of what you guys are saying already, which is you can't always take the blogger photo as gospel for how good the figure has turned out. Because while I think there looked like there had been some downgrades, when I started comparing these photos, all of a sudden I was like, oh, wait, maybe this is even better than I thought it would be. And once people do get it at hand, like Joao was saying, that's when the figure will truly, truly come to light. So... We'll see there, but yeah, I just wanted to share this photo because, as I said, this these are both final qual like final production pictures, and one I think looks vastly better uh, than the other. Of the it's same a fair figure. point, but I suppose it comes back to that the blogger photos, while I think they're they are useful, I do think they're useful and they're informative, but it's still like it's one one data point mm -hmm. or multiple thirty data points from the one style of photographer, or whatever. Do you know, I, I don't I don't think they're completely useless. That's that's my point I'm I'm, I'm making. Like, I agree with you completely, Shane. Yeah. And the thing is that the thing is that the blogger photos never ever showed you uh, a figure looking better than what you get in ends. I think they cannot uh, adulterate the the figure itself. I think they they I think must have some rules because they cannot like um emphasize something that is not there you know because in photoshop it's very easy for you to do to do anything you want so i think they they kind of have some rules they need to follow and maybe it's because of that i don't know but yeah. you know like i've never with the in hand thing i've never got a figure that blew me away where the blogger photos looked bad and i've never had the opposite happen either like the the difference between I know photos or video and in hand, I, I think is kind of marginal sometimes. Like, I don't know about blew me away, but the Golden Armor Wonder Woman, and this was after I saw some videos of some certain folks showing that the Gal Gadot likeness was there. And then when I got it in hand, I was like, oh yeah, this actually like this is a pretty strong sculpt in, in certain angles. Um, so yeah, that was one that the, the blogger photos. Good one to blow you away. Justice. Yeah, I wish <laughs> one could be so lucky. So oh, let's uh, let's move on now to the next person to pick. And Christian, your first oh, time picking this. Uh, I, I forgot the go. uh, what the options were. Can you yeah, uh, please so um, let me run through it again? So if we forgot, you need to pass to the next one. Wow. <laughs> Jesus, no habla espanol, fellas. Um, let's see. It's we already did body. this one. Uh, Excelsior. We've got uh, what up, big perm. We've got the four cousins, and those are the ones. 
I'll you take the poor the cousin. Thing. I have no idea what yeah. this is going to be. Poor cousin. But. Okay. <laughs> this is one that I haven't seen folks talk about a lot, but uh, the Asmus figures are not for serious collectors. Yeah. And yeah, the reason shit. I bring this up is because I had not seen until Kiss, Kit posted this uh, this particular figure up for pre-order. And it's a pretty expensive one too, which is wild. But I always say we don't get enough video game characters. And I saw don't this tell Dante. me you are going to, to talk about Dante. I'm going to talk about Dante really quick. Get, but his one was already this. made years ago. Well, <laughs> This is a so, reissue, you know. Okay, well, it's right. a reissue then. But it's also, you know, a $350 reissue. Um, it's, it's a, I don't know. It's a pretty badass figure. But um, Jesus Christ. So, Christian, tell us why anyone that has Asmus figures in their collection couldn't, couldn't really be a serious collector. Oh, so I'm not supposed to defend this figure? You can't. You got to tell us why this this doesn't belong in any serious collectors. Uh, I mean, dude, collection. just look at the quality, man. There's there's no point of getting this thing. I mean, uh, I don't know if there's a is that pleather, and then that's gonna disintegrate, and I don't know, and in six months, and uh, sculpt is god damn. I have Did you some ever play mercy, the game? huh? Did you play the I, game? I did watch uh, <laughs> gameplays on it, but I never played it. But uh, I'm, I am familiar with the character and all that, but uh, okay. could you could you uh, kind of not zoom in so closely? I need to look at the accessories because, like, there we go. Jesus. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, yeah, I, I'm familiar with the figure, but I just I, I need to remember. But uh, yeah, look at look at the accessories. Look, at, they gave, they gave you so much uh, swords and stuff. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I mean, you you call that you call that sword and all that? No, no. There's no way. There is no way you're gonna keep this figure. I don't know how they're gonna sell this shit. But the uh, prayers again, right? Mm-hmm. Prayers the, to they sold out. That's why they they are doing a reach. <laughs> <laughs> the accessories, yeah. the accessories look like Let jewelry. From Hot topic. <laughs> Damn, that is rough. But uh, I don't know. I mean, if, if you're that kind of, I don't know. Oh, well, if you like this kind of. Uh, mm, well, well that, done, Christian. You, 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 you <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say, dude. <laughs> We gave you a really tough one there, so so never really, seen really the figure well before. <laughs> Anyone else interested at all in uh, in this figure? This is one that was never on my radar before. It's again, I think it's over three fifty um, from Kit, but it looks like it's got diecast accessories, perhaps, and it's kind of badass. I'm kind of into it. But anyone else interested in this? No. Okay. It makes me Moving question on. why Asmus gives us the other crap that they give us. <laughs> Because I know Christian was trying his best to make it look like shit. This actually looks pretty good for. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's not. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it just makes me question. Like, what the hell is going on with everything else, man? It this almost feels like Enter Bay, right? Where they're like, you know, they put out some not stellar stuff, and then now they're going back yeah. to the well to be like, hey, remember the things that we did before? We're going to give you another opportunity to get them. Um. AJ saying, well, I guess I'm not a real collector. I've got two Asmus figures. Yeah, uh, Zach is out as well with all his Asmus Gandalfs. But um, any, anyone else have anything else to say on this before we move on? No, there's nothing all to right. say about these. God, I <laughs> hope not. <laughs> all right, let's move on. So uh, let's see. Uh, Joao, you'd be up. N- oh, sorry. Shane is actually up next uh, for the hot take game. So Shane, do you have one in particular that you want to pick? Also, look, I hate this game, but what are the topics left? Let's see. We've got... You're making me say this all over again. Jesus, no habla espanol, fellas? Uh, no, we already did this one. Uh, Excelsior is one. Uh, what a I big perm. Well, that's... that's you jumped the Excelsior two times already. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Uh, what a big perm, and that's it. So we're down to those three. I'm going to pick... I'm scared of... What up, big perms? I'm, I'm going to go for Excelsior. All right, Excelsior. The Hono, I believe is how you pronounce it, line is actually bad like for Ludicrous. Hot Toys brand. What was that? You got you to pronounce it like Ludicrous. Oh, tell, no! Tell <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> is actually bad for Hot Toys brand. So tell us why, you know, having these lower price figures is actually going to devalue the brand overall Shane because it's going to be a hit people have been crying out 
for years for some actual uh, X-Men 97 comic book representations of different Marvel characters. People are absolutely losing their minds for that really, really well-priced $120 in Hong Kong, $160 on Sideshow for that Wolverine, 97 accurate. They're going to follow this up with Magneto, Magneto, Thor. They're probably going to do Professor X. They're probably going to do Cyclops. They're more than likely going to complete the line. A lot of 112 scale uh, collectors might jump up to 16. A lot of people who are getting, getting tapped out might actually drop down because it's more affordable. And Hot Toys may actually pour more resources and funds into this, and we might end up getting shit for $300. I'm done. Absolutely crushed it. Well, eating chips or crisps or thins, I, f- I forget which one, but smashed carbs. It. <laughs> there you go, carbs. Uh, who's uh, who's in on this Hono line uh, with the Wolverine or any of these other ones that they're teasing? Magneto, Thor. Who's who's excited by this or thinks that you know this could potentially hurt Hot Toys brand? Anyone go for it? I really like that Wolverine. I gotta say, it wouldn't fit in the collection, but I really, really like it. I think it's I think it's funny that absolutely no one saw the Thor and Magneto, and I only saw it because Joao saw it. He, Thank you. He pointed out <laughs> that when they had it on display in the background, you could see Thor and Magneto, but no one knew anything until that video came out. <laughs> and they're like, oh, my God, they're doing a Thor and a Magneto, too. And I was like, damn, dude, Joao literally, <laughs> I hate anything that allows him to be a dick, but, you know, he saw it, man. So, I actually told him. I said, hey, did you see oh, this in damn. the background? What but, the no, fuck? I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm, I'm hyped for a Thor, man. So that would be sick. I, I actually pre-ordered this Wolverine because of the price. It's because it's so it's so affordable, right? And I I yeah. kind of want to see with the, this low price range what kind of quality they can give us. It's what I'm more intrigued to see, uh, especially because it comes with the silicon arms, right? So I want to see. I I kind of want to see how, how this is the only 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 one I'm going to pre-order. It's also coming coming very fast. It's like quarter, second quarter next year, so. It's a it's a, a fast releasing figure, and I'm I'm curious to see what they are going to do, what they are doing with this. They've got me too, honestly. This is one when they showed the tease. I wasn't super enthused because it's like I think it looks a bit cheap. But then when you hear the price, you're like, oh, actually, like this. And you see more pictures, like this is kind of this is sweet. This could be a really promising line. But I have the reason I say bad for Hot Toys brand because I have heard folks speculate, why are we paying so much then for the additional you know ones that are 250 350 and above why is there such a big dis- difference when this looks pretty strong um, yeah but so, so this one doesn't have nev- to... doesn't have a real likeness doesn't yeah have but likeness, then i would right? say the closest the closest comparison then would be the sideshow one that still currently exists at 245 dollars like why is that one so much more expensive then as a result if it also doesn't have the likeness rights and uh is traditionally plant you know panda is not the greatest figure out there right like it falls apart like they literally broke it on the sideshow unboxing trying to just like show it (laughs) right like it blows me away that that price could be so low for hot toys uh, as a result yeah i ben i I feel that and so i guess that's that is it going to lead to any confusion like okay why why are the rest of you marking up your prices so high including hot toys when you can yeah. give us something that's really, really quality for one. I almost bought the sideshow one like two months ago because I w- I really wanted the yellow the yellow Wolverine suit, and I would have been pissed as a collector if I spent almost a hundred bucks more American for for that. When I think the the newest Hono one, at least from the photos, I think looks better. Uh, now keep in mind it's a first release. We also haven't had this in hand yet. They put high quality sticker right on the slide, but until we actually have it in our hands and know for sure. It still remains to be seen, right? I'm I'm more saying this for the humor aspect and not intentionally trying to hurt this people's to feelings. No, I'm not going to mansplain. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> the people over, like, super shocked about how cheap it is and like saying, "Why have we been getting these expensive figures?" So, like, all this time, that shock is a little bit like people going you mean wrestling isn't fake or isn't real you, you mean wrestling is fake it's like are you serious it's a little bit like the caution fire is hot thing it's like ah 
Eddie, this I is, love you. This is the community I choose to surround myself by. <laughs> no, God damn. Listen. Back to statues. Listen. Okay. I am Wait, not. Yeah, I know. Statues. They're worse. They're worse, bro. I am not. Uh, what does he say? I'm not a smart man, Jenny. But I am not like this <laughs> clueless to things, and it bugs the shit out of me okay. when people are. It, like, I I agree with I, I totally hang. I agree with that, Eddie. But just to counter that, though, right? I think what it's exposing, which is part of Marco's question, is like it's kind of like the man behind the curtain, right? It's the Wizard of Oz. It's it's not that people don't know the shit is cheap and that they mark it up. It's that now that we can purchase a figure this cheap. Now I don't want to spend the the extra money if I don't have to. It, that's I think the big thing there. It's like now they've unveiled the curtain. So are they going to continue to give us this cheap, or is this a one off? Is it just going to be the Hono line that does this? But then what what is so different between the plastic quality of a Hono and a Hot Toys? What's truly the difference? So then the margin is exposed. That's that's the tough nut to swallow. It's not that I didn't know this was. They they probably make these things for fifteen bucks and sell them for four hundred. We all knew that, but we didn't have a choice before. Now that the choice is presented to us, now it's a tougher nut to swallow. That's I think the criticism of the price point. That's that it. that has me wondering if Hot Toys is going to do another Wolverine release with and. I, Maybe you weren't on the stream. I talked about this on. I, I see your point there, and I, I agree with it slightly more. But that makes me think, like, because they just did that Spider-Man with all those accessories and made it um, limited, I'm thinking, is Hono going to be a way to get the figure with bare bones and still get the figure? And then Hot Toys is going to do another Wolverine that has three head swap outs, uh, multiple versions such, of claws, such multiple a quick hands. Way to lose trust with the collectors, though, right? Like, oh, hey, you bought this one for 160, but now we got the premium version, the Type C version. You can't always see it as like a way to lose trust. Like their I mean, intentions are not to pull the wool over your eyes. It, you kind of gotta do a little bit of thinking for yourself too. It it goes back to like. You know, you but you, you gotta can't, you can't think, foresee that the... though. Like they create a new brand and then they jump back with the same character to their other brand and make a more premium version. Like no scenario. You can you if you know the signs. Collecting is like a gambling. <laughs> no doubt, you know? no doubt about it. You can't you can't have hurt feelings, but I, I I guess it would just be a way to piss folks off, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Yeah, I would have like I would have also said, maybe they're always pissed. <laughs> I would have also thought that maybe Eddie, if this was like a very stripped down release, right? Like if it was literally just the figure one mouth plate like uh. that that's it you know 160 bucks you get the figure in your collection but this still comes with like the the blade swiping effects it comes with the multiple mouth plates like i would say from like if you put a hot toys logo on this and it didn't say hono you could have almost fooled me uh, you know like I, I wouldn't have necessarily felt like this was so stripped down to justify a lower price so that if you go hot toys that's when you get that many more accessories mm -hmm. uh, because a lot of the accessories that came even with that um, comic spider-man as cool as it is a lot of that stuff sits in the box for hot toys collectors like it, like the the cardboard backdrops and some of that kind of stuff right like the the little goblin like it's cool but a lot of people are saying they're not going to use it like you like goblin I, you know, I, apparently, <laughs> um, apparently, uh, but I would say like, I, that's what I would have hoped for though, Eddie, is that like, like you said, like if, if the Hano brand isn't going to be the, the accessible price point, then, then you're, strip it you're, down to, you're to glossing that over trust. what makes that Spider-Man what it is though. That's yeah, the extremely limited. limited. Exactly. It's the limited. So yeah. that's what I'm for saying. Sure. You're, you're like, you're, you're playing the hand without showing us your cards. That's what like, mm -hmm. and Compared to this, it does have a lot more accessories. A lot. So, If they would have done this one, let's say they would have marked it up at 300 bucks, and they would have said it was limited to 1000 it would have sold out. People would have spent, because they're so hungry for this character in this style, it would have sold out. So I don't know. It just I, I guess that's why we're asking the question. But to Tremble Dust's point and to Eddie's point, and TBH, it's a private company. They can charge whatever they want for the goods. It's on the customer to decide if they, what they want to buy. Yeah, I'm not trying to take out the personal responsibility. I guess I'm just trying to talk through, you know, what, what collectors' expectations may be. And if things get murky, if you've got multiple sub-shell companies, I'm saying shell company, but um, if you've got multiple companies uh, within the same umbrella, do things get confusing? And do we now have different expectations? 
Uh, Joao, I'm, I'm going to ask Eddie. you. Your team team Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> take, Fair like, enough. Take, take some responsibility, folks. It's not, it's not, it's not life and death stuff, really. It's not, not human nature to take responsibility. But, Joao, I know you're a full line collector. Like you like, to, you like to go down the entire line. Is this Hono line something that you're considering just going deep down now that you've kind of started the ball rolling with Wolverine? Jesus, I already talked about these. No. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it. Just Joao, Wolverine for you. are you annoyed that it looks nothing like you, Jackman? <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, I I I already said it. I will get the Wolverine and then just just see what 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 the quality is and how it looks like. If it feels like a sturdy figure, I'm just curious to see what this because this this year was really very cheap. It was like one twenty or something like that. You cannot get a third party for one twenty. No, so. It's uh, so Bob Dylan is saying, have you guys ever, uh, never seen the brand consolidation in the auto industry? BMW owns like six different brands. Yeah. Audi owns Lamborghini. It's a good point. Honestly, like if they're able to completely separate, like, okay, this is the hot toys is now the Lexus and Hono is now the Toyota of, of this collecting. If they're completely, completely separate uh, in most folks mind, then yeah, I, I don't know that that's going to be an issue. So we'll see how it plays out. But Right now, because it was unveiled to us under Hot Toys Umbrella, uh, it's just a bit convoluted right now. Oh, but yeah, this is Bob this Dylan's is awesome saying. though. This is so like not something that I'd usually consider, but just because it just harkens back to '97, and it's just I think it's bloody cool, man. Can I can I say that I've had two very large cups of Let's Get Nuts? So, <laughs> wow, <laughs> I'm a, I'm, on the, uh, you. Let's, I'm on the Let's Fight. Uh, yeah. right now, so I, what, what are you drinking, was, uh, Eddie? Fun. What are you drinking, Eddie? Uh, just coffee, but oh, a right. lot of coffee okay. with sugar. Okay. You're, so despite, you're and I will say, despite my minor criticism, I purchased this immediately because of the accessible price point. I was like, yep, day one. Yeah. I think this is going to be awesome. I am so excited to get this guy in hand. So uh, I, I'm happy with the price point. Don't get me wrong. I don't want to pay more. I just do Wait. think it unveiled the curtain. But you will. You will. Deadpool three comes out if it's a banger, and you have the mm -hmm. Hugh Jackman yellow suit. You, you will, go, you will. Won't I you? will, but that'll have likeness to Hugh Jackman no, so, as well. So like they're, so they're, like. they're, that, that to me will still have reasons for why it would yeah, be they're not, expensive. They're not I'll be able to justify it. Yeah. 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 Wait till well, we start doing it's Batman, it's and then Ben's views will completely change. Yeah, no doubt. No You're doubt. not wrong. Go. Honestly, go Dude, I mean, serious. I'll take it. Go ahead, Christian. I just want to say, I just want to say one thing, because like it goes to back, it goes back to the point that Eddie pointed out. But um, this is the problem where because like even me and everybody in this panel, and I'm guessing like everybody in the chat is also very hyped for this figure and this, and this Hono line, because this could be either their um, golden egg laying goose or this could be their kryptonite. Because now you have people so excited to see a, a sturdy figure, a good looking figure at a very afford, affordable price. And if they go deep with, with the line, I bet a lot of people will be in it too. So, I mean, Eddie, you asked the question, didn't people know these plastics were cheap in the first place? I mean, we all do know. I mean, do I deal with plastic. I know what these are cost by tons. So, we do know it's, it's the problem is like the price that they have set for us is well at least with hot we're toys like ben would say well yeah we're conditioned as like what in these days like 250 minimum so mm -hmm. when you have this kind of line and the release of this figure i think is gonna be very interesting to see it's not gonna be controversial to say but it's gonna be interesting because even with his arms, aren't those like silicones? Like, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm not, I'm not gonna say this is like a bony, you know, like the minimum. Fig I'm. This is pretty a. If you just remove the Hono, and you put a Hot Toys, and you put this guy on two fifty, mm -hmm. I'm betting people would have picked them up. Hundred percent. I bet. Hundred percent. So, when people get the get this by in hand and find out these are amazing at what point does hot toys think okay we might not be able to 
sell the you know the the Deadpool three version Wolverine with the Hugh Jackman sculpt, and then put the uh, what three hundred dollars sticker point. I don't know if people will be. Uh, they'll be throwing the questions for themselves because, a well, recently SciShow has been you know kind of like cutting down on their pre-orders. So I'm guessing at least for you guys, the time will be limited. I guess, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna put some kind of exclusive version on it. Maybe, hopefully not. So if they put like I don't know. Two, 315, 320 something, and then uh, they give you a sculpt. Do you say yes or do you say hell no? See, the, you're putting I, I think that's a, that's a dangerous question. You're putting too much faith in people. That even though they like to complain and say, like, oh, look at how much they've been overcharging us, they're still going to jump in line to pre order that Hugh Jackman Wolverine. They're going to be lining up saying, take my money. If the figure because is good enough, yeah, people, people will pay. That's the way that collectors are. <laughs> we That's the community that we chose, it. right? Yeah, it it's yeah, it's uh I've said this a lot. It's not necessarily a twenty three saying, a twenty twenty three saying, but people just don't know uh what's good for them. They they want what they want and there's not a lot of logic involved and so that yes, it's still gonna sell out. People still want that Hugh Jackman Wolverine because it, people make no sense, you know. Well, and like I shared this one as well because we're looking at the Mondo here on the screen. The Mondo was a great figure, obviously iconic to the animated series. It's got that cell shading. It's a beautiful figure. Don't get me wrong, but even the Mondo, which is a fully plastic jointed figure, came in at two hundred bucks, uh, right for the for the basic line. So you know, the other question is like. Is Hot Toys doing this to kill the third party competition? I would say, yeah, definitely. Like, why pay third party um, pricing that are unlicensed if you can get a licensed Wolverine that looks as good as it does at 160? But I would even say the Hano one looks better than this Mondo Toys one, at least for most people's collections, because a lot of people's collections don't, they're not filled with animated figures. A lot of them are filled with movie realistic looking figures. And while that Hana one has a bit of a uh, comic flair, definitely. I still think you could fit it in with other movie realistic figures and be happy with it, especially with those seamless arms and silicone and, and all of the things. So, and again, $40 US cheaper than a Mondo figure. So like that is, it's a, it's a mind blowing price. I like, I'm happy about it. I just, it, it just blows me away. Like, why would you even buy this one? Well, the, <laughs> okay. So the coffee is kicking in and I'm a little bit like, when Shane said that Alan oh, with the numbers and everything, another He's thing shit they're not again live. Yeah, <laughs> another thing that I don't think Full people are thinking and... about. You can if you want. Eddie, embrace the dark. <laughs> okay, another thing that I don't think people are thinking about is that a lot of Marvel Legend collectors think about is this. Uh, this body is going to be reused a lot for this line. They, so they may be offering this at a cheap price, yeah. but they're going to make so much money off of this. And also, I know it's a new company, but they have the hype of Hot Toys behind them, which is a little bit like J&D having Kojun for that Joker. Mm. It's like they're going to sell way more of these Wolverines than Mondo could even wish to sell with that Wolverine. Um, so they automatically have to offer it at a higher price. Hot Toys, just based on the amount of figures that they're going to sell can afford to offer it at a cheaper price plus how much reuse they're going to get off of that body um we might even see those arms with thor now we could i could be wrong on that but if it's like i said if i'm a gambling guy and i'm betting i'm betting that's what they're thinking how and then like we don't know if we're going to see a gray suit wolverine if we're going to see a brown suit wolverine if we're going to see how many versions of this specific wolverine too so there's all that is considered in why they could make it 160 bucks, I think. Yeah. Great points. It's, it's Great points. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I could totally see them reusing those Coffee. arms. I need another Eddie, cup. Eddie <laughs> says, I don't like these more speculative topics. Also, Eddie, they might make a brown suit Wolverine. They might. <laughs> Did I have coffee brown. when I said that? Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Steve is saying, the guy in the top right have a YouTube channel. 
guy is wild. Love it. Yeah, he's a he's a rock star for sure. We got to get that uh, money made money media uh, back and running. He did send me a really awesome how to tutorial on the um, garage shelf that he did, kind of on some finer finer details that I was unclear on. So hopefully he posts that because it was it was a badass uh, video. I don't know if uh, it'll be that dust. exact video, but <laughs> there we go. I will. <laughs> Do it, man. It was a great video. Uh, Tremble Dust is saying, Wep- Weapon X, Wolverine, Age of Apocalypse, Patch, etc. Yeah, they could go. Uh, Weapon X would be incredible with the big comic helmet is what I want to say. Um, Bob Dylan saying, SH Figure Warts and Mezco ain't that cheap anymore. Some exclusives are 120 to 130. Ho No is a transition line um, aimed at those collectors, not the artists and crowd. Yeah, completely. I was I was talking about that on CW where... I bought the Mezco Wolverine that was, I think, around 90 bucks, but that they've got a deluxe version that's, you know, in this range, 140, 150. So definitely the, the market they're trying to go after. Uh, Six Scale Collector is saying, Hot Toys reused the hell out of clone figures and most didn't have a likeness and still charged about 240. Yeah, if, if people are paying it, though. Um, so let's, uh, let's see, Joao was back. Joao, do you recall which topic you want or do you want me to go through them again? I want uh, hello, habla español, or what? <laughs> Jesus, no habla español, fellas. And no habla español, is... fellas. <laughs> the Hot Toys Batman actually warrants, it's so good, it actually warrants a first batch order from overseas. No fucking way. <laughs> you, got to... uh, you want me to defend this? <laughs> you got to defend it. You got to tell us why okay. it's worth spending. I think uh, Toys by an Agent has, you know, $100 shipping it's so good that uh tell us why it's worth just taking the plunge and getting the, getting that first batch given that he's sold out on site show right there we go waiting yeah, list i think the i think all versions are waitlist or at the very least okay. the, uh, the bat signal deluxe version is so with that with that given even if you have a pre-order sealed with site show this one is completely worth to get uh first day day one even if you pay a bit more then you can sell the one the one you get from Sideshow, it will be no any problem. And it's the first figure from this movie. They are doing it amazingly well. I think the blogger photos look amazing and as always we can trust the blogger photos to see all the details and everything that we want to know more about this figure and the head sculpts look phenomenal. The suit looks pristine. I I'm really loving it and I could not stop myself from getting it day one. I actually got two. Um one with a bad signal and one with a with a bad cycle. I got two day one and was the, the best dec- decision I, I made because I think if you at this moment if you still have the inart in, in pre order, just cancel it because Hot Toys basically win already win the war. This is the best Batman they could deliver and will be probably contender for one of the best figures from 2023 only with Mars Romero Joker up ahead um, but this is amazing uh, and like Brandon Salad is saying we can go with free shipping through Toys by an Aging and everything within a week and uh, so more reasons to get it now <laughs> yeah, awesome. out of the game do not get this this thing they want, please. Don't do that. Yeah, so we we, we won't call out the person, but we had someone uh, in one of our circles that was you know tempted to to go after this yeah. day one. I tried I to. I don't know if he did it or not, but I tried I to, so. to to stop him. I don't know. Yeah, we're we're just having a little fun at at their expense because I, I get the excitement. Like you don't ever want to like take away Jeez. somebody's excitement for a figure, Whoa. but. Definitely, like, because Joao said Inart's got one coming, Whoa, there's a bunch Jesus of different Jesus Christ, you got here a bomb. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, everyone. With the $50 super chat, Paul. I'm, re- I'm really happy you said at the beginning of the show that you're giving me all super chats because I'm your favorite yeah, streamer. I, I, I saw that in the chat, so I'm... Uh, thank you, Paul. <laughs> thank you, Paul. not 100, Paul? Legend. He's oh, gonna put it towards another you, joker. You realize? <laughs> and I will. And I will just say, Paul, thank you so much. In- incredible, incredibly generous. Paul had just an awesome haul recently. So got the comic Iron Man. Got what were, what were the other? There was a vehicle uh, that he got that wasn't one six related, but 
um, yeah, Paul had a really awesome haul recently. So love to see him enthused in the hobby. And thanks for joining the stream. Thanks for the incredibly, incredibly generous super chat. Um, and Merry Christmas. Awesome. Merry Christmas, so, uh, Paul. Merry Paul, Christmas, Paul. Uh, you know, when we were at OxCon, I was trying to enable you to get other things. Are you considering any of these Batman or, or J&D? Let us know if, if any of these are... Or, or the Hono Wolverine, because I know you're an X-Men collector, so let us know in the chat. But thanks again, brother. Um, that is awesome. I am shook. Uh, Mark Attack. Marco's about to get the uh, Batman first batch now. Yeah, after what Joao said, you, you got to go get it. But no, to, completely outside of the game. This one, there's a lot of excitement around it. We've waited a long time. Some folks love the film. Some think it's just a decent film like me. Um, but... Uh, yeah, I think it's one that's definitely worth waiting on, especially because Sideshow gets things so fast now. But anyone else in here picking up any of the Hot Toys versions or, or the in-art version, what are your thoughts of how this one turned out? <laughs> well, well, Marco, um, this was my final last fully paid order that I ordered about 18 months ago, I said, at, I think, at the, the Devil's Workshop. So Ooh. when I had the in-art Joker fiasco, yep, and I... Uh, I got kicked up a stink and got my full refund, which I know a lot of people weren't so lucky. Uh, there were two figures left, which I had fully paid off. It was Ahsoka, which is upstairs, thankfully. But this is the, the last hurrah. So this is, um, and with the landscape changing now with Justin gone, I, I wouldn't be too confident. I've rolled it off my mind that it's not happening, but I, I've i started the process now of getting on to like- There's only one chance at this people. moment. There's only one chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Yes. Did you do you have do you have, do you have a beach beach side near you? Wow. Do you have a bitch? Ask what? Again? Bitch. No, not a bitch. Side bitch? <laughs> no, <What? laughs> my dog's male. Wow. <laughs> not bitch. I mean bitch. He didn't mean it. Bitch. You're not helping beach? your okay. cause. Uh, like sand? <laughs> you said it like three sand. times. <laughs> like sand. Beach, beach. Beach. What the hell are you right. trying to there, say, there, dude? There's, yeah, there's a beach off the road. Okay, so <laughs> the seaside, the seaside. you go, you go, you, you to go swim? to, you know, you go to your to your local market. You need to try to find a black chicken. Must be black. Where the fuck is this going? I can't wait. <laughs> you find a black chicken, and you need to when you find a black chicken. Take a knife. You need to take the chicken with you alive. You go to the sand. No. Can I go on? <laughs> yes. yes. Please. Okay. <laughs> you go to the sand. You make a big, a big circle. Oh, no less, no less than two by two meters. Okay. And in the middle, you write T W. And when you cut the chicken neck. <laughs> You will drop the blood to f to make the words the words T W with the with the with the words. Jesus, that's, then, oh, that's the darkest comment I've heard in a while. Then, <laughs> then, uh, then you let the chicken aside. You will need it for dinner, but not now. Okay. Then, you you you. I will send you a text of the things you need to repeat three times, and the order okay. will appear. <laughs> So I don't know what a black chicken if that, is. If that I... short doesn't go viral, I'm gonna be pissed. You need to do it. From TW. Your, dude, your order is not gonna show up. A demon is gonna show up, dude. Jesus Christ. There is another option, though, Shane. Uh, international extradition. Like I said, I'm good with calculation. But did you, did you see, did you saw that right. Toys Wonderland, Toys Wonderland have their, in their website, uh, all these, uh, Batman in the home page, they are all really? they're sold out. I, I so don't I buy think, from them anymore. That's the thing. I think like, yours is gone. He's people. sold out. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't buy from them anymore. This is oh, the, look at the, Nathan, look at Nathan. Really quick, really quickly, just you know, since I had this up for a while, Brandon Salad did say he went and grabbed it batch one. Absolutely love the character. We're not throwing shade at anyone. We're this is kind of like obviously everyone's opinion. But if you're excited, if you got, you know, something that you can live with and you got a first batch, cannot wait to see the pictures you do with it. So congratulations, bro. And really quickly, Paul Schreiber said the turtle van, the hiss tanks and classic Iron Man hot toys. Definitely getting the Wolverine. All right. That's a heck of a haul. And glad to hear oh, that turtle you're, you're going to get six. Um, who's, who's am I looking at? Let's see. We were going Nathan to, uh, Anderson. let's see, Nathan. 
Oh boy, I was way behind. I did similar sacrifice to get an order from TW. It works. Okay, well, <laughs> you see, you don't need oh. to put a tutorial video. That's Shane's next. It's going to be how to assemble uh, or how to disassemble um, DTOFs and then how to I sacrifice to get one. your order. That's yeah. right. <laughs> but you know, it, it, <laughs> this one is like, I've never, I've never, um, okay, I'm, I don't know how I worked this out, but the, um, I've never not ordered a figure from them and not either got it or got a refund. I know other people haven't been as lucky. So this could be the first time I get fucked. Um, or maybe I, 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 I eventually get it. Okay. Sorry. I got a pizza here. Wow. He just, uh, dipped after that comment. God pizza. Damn. Jesus. I would have pizza now and it's 3am. Yeah. At 3 a.m. Okay, let's uh, we'll, we'll we'll speed this up a little bit because I know it's incredibly no, late. For take you your time. Now I'm already ruined. <laughs> <laughs> already fucked time. up your whole day. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> I, I oddly still want chicken, but I I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so who who else on the panel is considering this uh, this character in any form? Inert baby, I'm still waiting for my inert. That's mm. the the one I'd made the choice uh, for you know a while back now, right? But. Um, it's hard because when you see the first company cross the finish line and you see people start getting in a hand and you're looking at the display space on your shelf, knowing like you've got that space allocated for that Batman and you don't have it yet. That's, that's it's tough. But, um, I think, I think both companies have done a great job so far, at least from what we've seen from Proto from Inart and this final, uh, for hot toys. It's a, it's an impressive figure for me. If I had gone with the hot toys one, I don't think I would have got the bike, but I think the bat signal is the way to go. The bat signal shows up in the movie at least four different times. It's practically a, a side character. Uh, and so I think for display wise for that film, it would certainly be appropriate, especially if we never get a Catwoman or her bike, you know what I mean? That, that iconic end scene where they're riding off into the distance separately on their bikes like that's really the only time you get a chance to have a good look at the bat bike so yeah no, the bat signal i think is is the way to go uh at least on the hot toys version uh, for sure heck yeah agree with that anybody else uh, on the panel considering this one i think i'm gonna play the super long game on it i think i'm gonna be a legit bargain bin bro and i'm gonna wait either until the in art comes out and people don't want their hot toy anymore or until about a year goes by and people realize that they didn't like this movie at all and they all go on sale so you know in 2025 i'll let you know what my uh pattinson collectible is like i like it a little bit of patience can go a long way in this hobby which is tough when you're excited for a character i know this is one that i'm again i didn't love the movie but i'm really excited for for this iteration of batman because just love batman um, okay, so I think we, uh, we, we talked this one through. Single song writer is in the house, the legend. Hello, collectors from around the world. Honestly, I'm not picky, and all of these figures look amazing and would be happy with any of them for a, collect um, for a collector as I am, not a reseller and scalper. Yeah, it's a, it's a great time to be a collector. I know someone else said that in the chat. Lots of competition, just a really good time to be a 1-6 scale collector, so... It's uh, it's my turn here, and so I, obviously I always have the high ground since I create these, but I'm going to go with this one, and, and I forgot to read this out for everyone, but it's Do You Bleed, and this one is the value on the BVS 2.0 Batman is so good that you don't even need to wait for in-art. And so I know I've heard a lot of confusion about what exactly the deluxe package comes with, because they've, you know, talked about different head sculpts. And so I saw this really cool picture from Secret Base that to me kind of uh, really, really did a good job of illustrating exactly what uh, what this version comes with. Sorry, I'm struggling with my tech here. Give me one second. And so, yeah, so at 350, you get, come on. Okay, here we go. We're back. Uh, for 350, you get you know, the standard head sculpt that doesn't swivel, you get a head sculpt or a cowl, excuse me, that does swivel. You get the unmasked sculpt that has two hairstyles. You get a, a, a drape cape and then also a wired cape and this diorama. To me, this is regardless of, you know, inaccurate inaccuracies that you may point to, to this suit. Um, this is just pretty, really good value 
comparative to how much hot toys cost, right? This diorama base can be used for just about any character. I have the BVS 1.0 and I had to go and purchase a wired cape. That's about a hundred bucks. I know folks get the custom um, cowls painted. Those could be anywhere from 200 to 300 plus. So when you kind of add up all the value and then you see kind of side by side what this looks like 1.0 versus 2.0, I think that it gives you just about everything you could want to justify the price. And I'm not sure how much better in art can really do and how much value they can give you in comparison to 350 bucks for the deluxe. But that's just my take. What is everyone else feeling on here? I so pre-ordered it. So. <laughs> you pre-ordered it, eh? Yeah. It's a good question because I like I would say that I personally am not an expert when it comes to this specific suit. So I have seen some side by sides of like movie stills from the from the um well, from the film at least uh, comparative uh, to the to the figure. And I would say like at least from that glance at it, it does look like it's slightly the wrong color. That the abdomen is a little bit more defined than it maybe needs to be. I do think that there are details on the suit specifically that in art could dial in a little bit more, as well as the facial hair. For whatever reason, they've given them kind of like a day one shave, uh, whereas most of the movie stills, and like I, I rewatched half the movie the other night uh, while cross-stitching like an 80-year-old baddie, and uh, <laughs> he had quite a bit of dark facial hair in that film, uh, a lot more than I remembered, uh, but then seeing this sculpt, I'm like, damn, does he look clean, like real clean. So I, I actually do think that there are improvements that like a company like Inart could give us. Now, price point-wise, though, I think it would be more expensive, right? kind of almost either way, right? Uh, or you wouldn't get necessarily the diorama, some of those types of things. Um, the question I, you know, kind of pose back to you, because I, I think the figure does look good, and I missed the original, so I'd be happy to put this one in my collection, because uh, I really like the Ben uh, sculpt either way. Do you guys think it's weird that they gave us, uh, like, a movable cowl? Like, for me, like, this guy shouldn't be able to look both directions like it's just a little odd so it's, it's more from the function market, for the bin yeah people were getting more these, function i think it was unreal customs that were, was doing okay. these swivel doing cows this. that people wanted to they to wanted make it the okay. character more dynamic so i think that you know hot toys is always sense. keeping an eye on what the custom folks are doing and so a lot of right. these uh, bells and whistles are from that Okay, because it like to me again that also takes away from the accuracy of the character. So like that's more for figure function than it is for character accuracy, which is a strange change in direction. Uh, I think uh, kind of tailoring themselves for this figure to be more suited to custom market. So uh, to me, like doesn't doesn't bother me necessarily, but I was worried. I was worried that people would feel like it. That was another just non accuracy you know, pain point. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to get this one though. I've got the nightmare Batman behind me. Uh, and I think he might be the, a good representation of the bat fleck enough for me. <clears throat> I traditionally kind of hated this Batman a little bit at first because I was always such a big Christopher Nolan guy and Christian Bale, um, Batman fan. And, uh, I liked the no killing and rules thing. And while this Batman kicks some awesome, like serious ass in the movie, uh, the fact that he pulls out guns and is also blowing people away like lost it for me a little bit uh, on the batman side so yeah fair fair all really good points and i will say that joao big bread it is 3 30 in the morning for him um so we're going to say goodbye to him whether he's on camera or not but joao thanks for joining and thanks for staying up so late with us christian it's 4 30 for you right right oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah uh oh getting a little echo there is it me no i think we're good now i think we're good all right but uh, yeah, so if Breda, if Breda, you come back on, um, say goodbye. And if not, then thanks for, for being on. And you both are legends for <laughs> staying up so late with us. Um, so uh, Christian, I'm, I'm gonna, here. I'm gonna, oh, you're here. All right. All right. Did you want to say anything about this Batman or you got to you got to go? No, no, no. I let the, I let the Batman thoughts for all of you. I'm, I'm really sleepy. It's yeah, no. almost <laughs> it's 3.30 a.m. And I'm, I'm here. I'm here really struggling. And tomorrow yeah, we have a later there is lwo guys don't forget to tune in on the lwo is on piroc channel uh and 
thanks for having me, Marco. I don't know if you are talking to a spirit or what, because you Sorry, are Sorry, Gigi talking. came in and she said, are you okay. done? And I was like, you know, if only there was a YouTube channel that you could check to see if we were still live. But <laughs> she's, got a, she's got a work call, so she was <laughs> coming to see if lunch was ready. But <laughs> Joao, yeah, we'll see you on LWO. Thanks again for, for staying up so late and doing a on stream with us. Later, Later, brother. Keep, the stream, Later. keep the stream strong. 24 hours. We're Bye, going. Korean. Bye, Russian. <laughs> Motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> so Christian says I called on you. Black chickens from. Oh, oh. Yeah, Black chickens. chickens from. Market. market. Teach me, great one. You buy from the market the black chickens. Okay, and the circle. They are. They are normally. They are not. They, they normally have them hidden in the back. Okay. Thank you. There was, I was hearing a lot of echo, but it kind of suited the weird talk so I would... just go to chinatown you'll be you'll find one ch black chicken go. go ask for jose he knows where all the good stuff is go to stop um so, <laughs> so christian since i called on you obviously you know not really within your realm but how do you feel about this one is this one that you maybe consider i don't even know how you feel about this film no 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 like the i appreciate the dc verse and their uh characters and all that but um I, I am very unfamiliar with his, like the accuracies in his suit and everything. But what I did find interesting was the sculpt. And correct me if I'm wrong, but the sculpt wasn't available for the first version, the 1.0. And the sculpt is pretty damn good. I mean, I'd You're say correct. that's You're correct. Yeah, I mean the, I get it, that why people would say you know they don't need to wait for an art because. I don't think this is like, I don't know what you'll be expecting more from the sculpt. Because this is, for me, I mean, uh, where, where I stand, it's as good as it gets. And um, if, if Hot Toys is offering this guy with a, a good price with two sculpts, well, not two sculpts, is it like two removable swap what? hair pieces, yeah. Yeah, swap really out hair pieces. The Batman version. I'm, I'm saying go for it, I'm, yeah. But uh, they did. Uh, they did correct the uh, body with the shape and everything. I'm not too detailed on that. But I don't know, but uh, looks good. But uh, I'm glad for the collect for the fans. And that's pretty okay. much it. So uh, I think uh, I think Shane's in the middle of, of grubbing on some pizza. So I was gonna go to uh, to Eddie next, unless Ben's gotta go. I do have to go in just a moment. Well, why don't, just, why don't you one. plug your why don't you plug your Sunday show and then we can sounds good I uh, can you see this can you guys see this yeah yeah we can we can perfect um yeah so this was uh done by k underscore one underscore master so shout out to him uh just for some of the side by sides from the film as well just kind of talking about the the stubble there a little bit so again he looks kind of like he's on day one shave uh, a little bit there a little less gray on the sides so I think there's some tweaks but I do think it definitely looks uh, like Ben Affleck. So that's that's a huge win. Uh, I do have to get into work there, unfortunately, but I wanted to share this with you guys really quickly. Uh, over on the Ben Thomas Show, uh, we just set up a, a channel membership over there for a buck ninety nine, so super cheap, but it's more for the folks who like to come in on the Let's Get Nuts Sunday show. If you want a little member badge beside your name, Dean the Dream Martin helped me make some of these here. So Kill you can these. see all the different months as you progress through the ranks. Uh, the up and comer, the bat nut begins, the dark nut with a K, of course, the live long and nut, the teenage mutant nutty turtles. And then if you're with me for two years, you'll become a terminutter. Uh, now I'm open to suggestion as well for anybody who becomes a member of, uh, of the Ben Thomas show. Um, anybody who wants a nut made, let me know once you become a member and I will work to get that added in as either different emojis or other member badges along the way. Um, I have put all these up on T public as well. The link is through my YouTube channel up at the top corner. So if you guys want any stickers made shirts made, uh, I've got a Ninja Turtle Michelangelo sweater on the way. Now I ordered it last night that I'm super excited about nice. uh, and, a, and a couple of stickers. Um, I'm going to start uh, sending out stickers as well uh, after I have about 20 members, uh, kind of similar to what uh, Collecting Weekly does uh, every every month or every other month. We'll see how, see how popular it becomes. So if you guys are interested, head over there, buck ninety nine a month, and gets you all these uh, cute little perks there. 
As far as the show, uh, this Sunday is the last Let's Get Nuts Sunday of the year. So that's December the 17th. That's uh, 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, uh, which is, I think, about 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So keep an eye out for the link. Uh, it's going to be a very packed show. We already have a couple fun uh, guest panelists that have put up their hand to be there. Uh, so again, that's this Sunday at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, last show uh, of the year of 2023. Uh, but I'm excited to get nuts with all of, uh, all of my friends and family and all of you uh, uh, lovely folks who tune in every week. I definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, unfortunately, I have to go to work now. <laughs> so I will uh, remove myself. But thanks for having me today, Marco. I appreciate it. And Christian, good uh, stream with you again and Eddie as well. And, uh, and Likewise. Yourself. Thanks, Ben. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Be safe out right there. On. Catch you guys later. Thanks. Later. Peace. Bye-bye. So, uh, yeah. So, Eddie, do you want to... Uh, have us finish strong with this. I'm seeing that we're, you know, going on two and a half hours. I know it's incredibly late for Christian. So, um, yeah. So, so what are your thoughts on this BVS Batman? You said you pre-ordered this. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going backwards. So I missed that first release on BVS Batman and I think it'll look good with the, with the in art soups that's on the way. So, um, I like a lot of the changes that they made from the original. Um, I like when it i like the fact that it's taller uh, a bit beefier in some pictures it does come across as a little puffy uh and i like to like um to compare it to the uh the solo movie aquaman he kind of looked a little puffy in the hot toy and not necessarily bulky um but in some pictures it looks good like right there it looks pretty damn good so it's probably the best picture that they produce like so, this it looks great so I'm a little like I'm I'm optimistic that in hand I'll like it a lot. Um and I know a lot of people are going to wait for the NR and I probably will like the NR more if they end up doing it, which they I think they said they're going to do all the characters from that movie. So um yeah, I will probably end up getting that too and I'll just use it in a different way for my collection. But I know a lot of people like to to comment on Chris's point, I a lot of people were saying they'll wait for the in art, and I think it's because I I at least heard Dan say this um, from Six Scale Reviews. He he actually wants rooted hair mm -hmm. on the but ben, for this and I don't even know. That's... I don't even know if in art will offer that because they didn't offer it with soups, and I feel yeah. like. But then again, they offered it with Harry, but his hair is a little longer than Ben's. So I don't know if they'll offer it or not. With they'll probably with ben. do sculpted, slicked back with rooted little gray patches on the side. That's what I assume. You, yeah, probably. I to be fair, I don't necessarily think short hair characters need rooted. I think they look really good sculpted, and I don't see how it could improve it at all. I could be wrong, you know. Um, but Seifel is saying the sculpt looks like me, and I think that's the best uh, compliment I've ever had yeah. in my life. So didn't, I didn't really yeah. think that it looked like a lesbian, but I guess. <laughs> we do <laughs> have those same uh, sunken eyes with the bags, so thank you. for. <laughs> apparently the coffee only I, helps you wake up. It doesn't help you I get rid of the bags. Uh, I see it I, a little bit. I like, um, I like the swap out hair pieces to give you both looks. I, I love some of the stuff hot toys is doing man and it makes me excited uh you know I, I know a lot of people say that they don't do enough and i'm like they're doing a lot lately man I, I like it and normally i'm not like a deluxe guy like i don't need those over um emphasized bases to me they just take up space uh but that was the only way to get the movable cow with this one and oh yeah and even though it's not movie accurate like i do want to be able to get him in that like you're not going to be able to get him looking like that unless you can move the head, you know? So that's really cool to me. So, and, and then and the, the wire 1.0 was tough so. to, to pose because you couldn't swivel the head. So yeah, maybe it'll look a little less screen accurate, but it'll add to the posability. So you've got pretty much any option you could possibly want. Yeah. I love, I'm a big fan of more options, even if it takes away from the realism. I think the in art will have a better, uh, color on the suit because even though they managed to lighten it a little bit i think it's still a lot lighter gray in the movie but because the movie is so dark it comes off more like this kind of a color yeah but i think the actual 
uh, screen use costume was like a very light gray. I would like to see it lightened up just a little bit. I know yeah. I know Nicolio did a, a custom mod, and I, I know he's not alone there. And his looks great with like a really really light gray to have the bat symbol yeah. symbol pop out so prominently. I wish they would go a bit lighter. It this is also one of those cases where Hot Toys is getting expensive. I know it comes with a lot, but I think if you order from a sideshow after tax and shipping and everything, it's like four hundred bucks. And I'm like, Jesus, man. It's getting and that's where I will just urge everyone listening here. I think we got a lot of veterans, but you know, shop around. You you will be able to find deals um, with coupon codes, like I showed with uh, Collector Zone, or folks that you know can really buy down that shipping and um, and sales tax cost if you get in early. So definitely do your homework. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so Shane, I know you're grubbing on pizza. Any anything to add on this Batman at all? I know this isn't your least favorite Batman, but <clears throat> um, am I echoing? You're not right now that I can hear. Okay, yeah, I changed the settings there because my AirPods died. Yeah, look, it's um, like you said, I'm not the biggest fan of DCU. This is definitely not my Batman. Um, for three fifty though, the head sculpt looks great. Yeah, I think Eddie nailed it. Like he's. He looks as if he's just shaved. So I think the likeness is there to Ben Affleck, but um, they probably should have given him a bit more of the five o'clock shadow or whatever. Um, two cowls, that's pretty cool. Two different capes. I think it comes with a drape and articulated. I think the diorama base looks amazing. If you can pull off that pose where he's on the ladder, that's pretty damn cool. Um, I think they probably made him a bit too beefy and the abs look weird, but I don't have the eye for the Batman. And maybe it should be a bit lighter, but... Yeah, look, people. I do remember people specifically saying they were crying out for 2.0 of this or waiting for NR to do it. So there it goes. There it is. There, there they Start are listening to the collectors. Uh, yeah, really well, well said, Shane. Uh, Eddie, you were going to say something? That I think the abs look better on the original. Yeah, I kind of agree. Maybe I'll change They're my mind too. later, but yeah, I don't know why they. I have to watch or look at pictures from the movie, but I don't know why that was needed to be upgraded. It looks, it's funny because I feel like the abs on the original should look like the abs on the left. You know what I mean? Like if yeah. it was a real person, <laughs> like the original has that steroid gut abs and I feel like the left, it looks like it's on steroids. So it should have those abs, but yeah. I'm not an expert, but um, wasn't that the issue that I don't want to bring his name up, but uh, wasn't Justin the one who kind of like did his own custom to change his abs and that the original one did look like oh. an eight pack and um, he kind of fixed it to make it a six pack. Oh. And oh, I don't recall that's this. what I thought Hot Toys fixed. Oh, wow. But um, I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not too educated on this, but uh, I thought you guys would know. More educated than me, apparently. Yeah, so, that's not you. something that I remember. It might have been just before I got into the hobby, so I'll have to go back and do some research. More true but... collectors? No. I mean, that's wow. true. I heard, true I heard the original know. had like an extra ab. I don't mean if they mean ab singular or that of abs plural, um, but that's what I heard people saying. Um, yeah. So may, may, maybe there's a, maybe they, look, he has an eight pack there on the right. Maybe it was only supposed to be a six pack on the just a six pack. Uh, on, on the actual suit or something. Shane, I don't. can you confirm that they've uh, actually modeled this off of uh, shirtless pics of you? Uh, yeah, wow. definitely. It's the one on the right, though. I'm, I'm not as big as the one on the left, but yeah, to be okay. fair. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> and not after uh, that pizza, though. It's a well, one There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weekend, all right? Uh, let's see. Single songwriter saying, I notice Hot Toys has been making uh, more and more diorama bases. Yes, I love that. I love the ones without the nameplates, the ones that are really interchangeable for multiple characters. Give me those options, especially if you do it in a deluxe where I don't have to get it. But if that's something that I want, um, yeah, I love that trend. And then single songwriter saying the utility belt is out also different. Yeah, that's a good catch. I hadn't really um, seen that too much. But yeah, it is a different uh, different shape and different color for sure. So um, yeah, so a lot of a lot of cool improvements there. I think with that, we could probably uh, pr probably wrap up here. Anything that you guys want to plug? I, I will just hey. say we've got about 50 still in the chat. So if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, uh, something, something algorithm. I'm bad at this thing. But uh, Eddie, what do you have coming up beyond LWO on P-Rock's channel, channel tonight? 
Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, today's Friday, right? So Saturday night, I might do a stream with Pain on Pain Collectibles channel on YouTube. Nice. Shout uh, out that's to still Pain. up in the air. And then Sunday, I won't be on Let's Get Nuts because I'm doing another stream uh, on a channel called Haunt of the Collector. He's a statue collector, and he's like a big Lord of the Rings fan, and he also gets into some other like interesting stuff. So he's doing like a big stream there with like I think it's full like however much Streamyard lets you have like ten or twelve people, and nice. then um, that starts an hour before Let's Get Nuts. So if you guys want to check that out, uh, we'll all be hanging out, um, and most of them are overseas. So Shane. I know you love overseas, so they'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then as far as on my own channel, I might post – I will post the the garage shelf video. Um, I might just end up posting the video that I sent Marco because I'm lazy. Dude, but, it was uh, a great video. It was funny too. That's what That was the best part. I sound like an idiot sometimes. No, <laughs> video. Really I remember good. what you're saying is funny, and it's, I remember thinking I'm wrong. an idiot. So um, – I'll post that, and then if uh, uh, a favor, I'd really appreciate whoever hasn't follow me on Insta Made Media on Instagram. Um, I'm posting more on I'm gonna there. I'm going to drop the link right now, too. And I'm trying to grow that up uh, just because I like doing reels and, and posts on Instagram more than I actually like doing YouTube. So uh, I'm trying to make that like my collectible Instagram and separating Money Mendez a little bit from it. But uh yeah, I was going to mention, too, no one's really talking about the black suit Spider-Man, and I don't want to, like, prolong the stream, but uh, I ordered it the other day, and if you have any $20 off codes on Sideshow, for some reason it's working on that pre-order. So if you guys want to order that, that symbiote Spider-Man from Spider-Man 3, uh, try using a $20 off, $20 off code. It might work on that pre-order. Hey, great call, Eddie. Thanks for thanks for that heads up because that's one that I'm considering for sure. So that's a really good pointer. Um, and I will just say um, on that topic, since we're talking about Sideshow, they're doing a showcase on the 20th. So I think if you sign up for the showcase and there might be one other event, um, I think you get rewards, $5 in rewards in your account. So, you know, you can start adding up towards, uh, you know, buying that Black Suit Superman or Spider-Man or other, other things. So yeah, December 20th showcase. So it will be more to talk about. Um, Eddie, thanks for joining, bro. And we'll see you on LWO tonight on P-Rock's channel. And uh, yeah, I'll drop Eddie's Instagram link here in the uh, in the chat in a second. Um, Christian, I'm going to go to you. Anything else beyond uh, appearing on P-Rock's channel tonight and then on Collectors Unite with uh, Joao that happened earlier today? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it was my first time here. Uh, it was fun. Thanks for having me. Uh, but yeah, like like you mentioned, uh, uh other than, other than the LWO and, you know, Collectors Unite, what you are, I don't have anything going. Uh, I don't do reviews or anything, but uh, the only thing I am kind of doing weekly since last week is the vlogs that I made that I, when I visited, you know, jo Joao. It's, uh, awesome. If you guys are, you know, interested, you guys could see the video. That, and that, that's that. That's that. Nothing else. Awesome, man. Well, thanks for staying up so late with us. It was a, great to have you and... Uh... Yeah, glad glad we didn't rough you up too much with the uh, hot take. I'm minutes. surprised I made it, dude. It's like 5 a.m. in the morning. Jesus. I'm shocked, man. You know, it's, <laughs> uh, these are not good enough friends to stay up that late for. I'll tell you that. So, good, good yeah, yeah you're right. Couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I gotta say about? You know what I gotta say about that? Can't do it. All right, <laughs> uh, Christian. Thank you again, and Shane. Thanks for uh, letting us interrupt your dinner time and. Uh, Appreciate you being on, man, and spending some time there with Buddy. But what's coming up on the channel? Obviously, you don't have the slides you normally would, but... No, no, I have nothing. Um, yeah, shout out to Christian, man. Half five. Oh, I've done some late late streams before, but yeah, it's quite tough. Um, so, yeah, I had a great time. It's just always good chatting with you. Um, what is coming up? Uh, I'm actually on the uh, One Six Shooter, Trevor One Six Shooter stream. He does a stream called the One Six Pack where they drink craft beers and top up one six scale figures. So it's like right up my alley. The only problem is I bought two four packs. I'm not sure if I'm allowed in with and one of them's gone. So I'm not <laughs> oh, sure. You're out. I have to just not drink the other four beers so I can save much that. So um, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be on that tonight on uh, one six shooters channel. 
And then, yeah, uh, the whole show on Monday night and Ben Thomas on Sunday. And um, yeah, over the next few weeks, you're going to start seeing uh, the build start. So um, really looking forward to getting those IKEA Blaladins in and wiring them up. And it's exciting to yeah. start from scratch again. So that's yeah, that's it. It. yeah, channel is one six figure focus. If you're interested and you want to sub. Heck yeah, go check out one six figure focus. Absolutely. I dropped it. It's Eddie's uh, link in the chat. So hopefully that's uh, everyone's able to, to go Appreciate access that and go uh, subscribe there and shout out to Trevor one six shooter. Um, you'll have to save two. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So yeah, I'll make my promise. We'll be, that's right. <laughs> you definitely will be checking out that stream. Thanks for popping in Trevor. And we've got Lane Kramer. Hey, uh, fellas. So is there anything more creepy than one six scale watching J and D put in glass eyeballs in silicone? To me, there is nothing. I'm sure we could think of some things, but it's a uh, skeleton there, underneath. Trevor. That's right. That's right. The, un- <laughs> the skeleton underneath. Uh, you'll have to you'll have to save two Shane. There you go. Okay, I was I was un- unsure what Snar was, but we uh, we made it through. So Yomo, uh, great stream, guys. Appreciate you, Yomo. Thank you to everyone out there in the chat. I really appreciate the panel hanging out and uh, shout out to the legend Paul Schreiber again for that super generous super chat and uh, looking forward to hopefully seeing Paul Schreiber in person very soon. With that, we'll leave you with this. Van Gogh painted this. This is original. Yes, sir. Who painted this? Leonardo da Vinci painted this, sir. Yeah, yeah, I heard he was pretty good. I heard he was pretty good. So these three the real clothes. Yes. Like she wore these. Yes, sir, she did. They watch them? <laughs> Y'all think about selling something like this? Sir, this is a piece of priceless art. Because if so, I might be able to do that. You are now watching the Bargain Bin Bros. You're goddamn right.